two. Welcome everybody to episode 200 of the H3 podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you to Ring and Ridge, the two R's. We love our sponsors. There's not many of them left, folks. So we love them a lot. Uh, today we commemorate episode 200 with these beautiful uh, shirts, which is instead of, it's my FUPA shot, but instead of my FUPA, it's the earth. Episode it's, 200. It's you looking down and reflecting. Reflecting on everything we've achieved <laughs> over these past 200 episodes. Show the back, too. Oh, That's pretty cool. The back. The back shows our transitions of the logo. Mm -hmm. Life Ho and death. Hopefully the improvements. The life <laughs> oh, is that what it is? I didn't realize. It's Wait, for the real? first version. I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know why there's three logos, but... <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, that's and the, so and cool. the three numbers are the three uh, <laughs> color schemes of the That logo. is yeah. very cool. Yeah, so that's the whole history of the it's show. It's a genius design from a genius mind that belongs to Ian. Ian Slater, you do have a genius mind, Ian. I hope you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but I'll take it. Thank you. Well, you I don't mean, have to go that far. It. I'm, I'm saying it. <laughs> and frankly, I'm sick of you correcting me. No, I'm just <laughs> Available at h3h3shop.com for two weeks only. And the money will be shared with our crew. This is not me hoarding gold like Scrooge McDuck. You guys will get most of it, all right? Um, you know, m many people would say, Ethan, you know, over 200 episodes, I'm surprised that you are even uh, still care about this show after, um, you know, the show has gone downhill. Everybody's... Uh, made videos eviscerating you on the internet. I mean, how do you still care? How do you still go on? And to those people, I say, I love this show. I love you guys. I love the crew. And I will never quit this H3 podcast while there's a breath in my lungs. Nobody will stop me. And I'll tell, and I'll go one step further. We are going to be stepping it back. What is today? Monday? It's Friday. Friday. It's Friday. Dude, this, this, I, this, this quarantine is, is totally messing with me. That was head. so far. Well, I knew it was the beginning or the end. <laughs> the end. Ila, the you beginning know why, is the end. Do for me, it, for me, it's big because when Friday hits, it, it means the weekend comes, and that's when we're alone with Theodore. There's no help. Yeah. So. It means I wake up at 6 a.m. So yeah. it's a bit, it's something that I cannot ignore. <laughs> I'm dreading the whole week. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Yes, so it's Friday. Okay, so big it time. Friday? Big time big Friday. Big time, okay. Thank you, Elon. <laughs> uh, but my point of saying that is that this is our second episode of the week. Okay, now that signifies the 200 episodes, but guess what? I'm, I'm starting to think maybe it's time for three episodes a week. <gasps> Cross it out, baby. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's time for five episodes a okay, week. Okay, okay, slow Every down. week, dude. Uh. Monday through Friday. Who's going for that? Who's ready? Zach? Uh. <laughs> Zach, everyone, nobody wants, nobody's excited. <laughs> I'm stoked. He's I'm stoked. in. Thank you, Zach. No, but we're definitely going to be stepping back up to two episodes a week. So we're all very happy to be here. And we thank you guys so much for sticking with us on this Toad's Wild Ride through 200 episodes. Also a milestone is our help campaign in which we pledge to give out $100,000 of our own cash, which we've done. I told Ela the bleeding is finally over. <laughs> Cause here's the thing. There's a couple of things I realized over the course of this help campaign. Um, you know, look, I'll admit that in the, in the past couple of years, my perception of money has definitely changed. When me and Ela were young bucks, five hundred dollars was a godsend, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, when you're giving out every day, so we had another fifty thousand from Brendan Green. He's the creator of uh, PUBG. Yeah. He pledged. He generously donated fifty thousand. So we gave out one hundred fifty thousand total. Three winners every day. Five hundred dollars. When you're giving out fifteen hundred dollars every day. That's a lot of money. Like, I don't ever spend $1,500 on a single item. Like, very rarely will I spend that kind of money. But then you're doing it every day 
for a hundred days. I mean, you really get a, a grasp for how much money that is, you know, mm. uh -huh. and 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 for how just how long a hundred days. I mean, that's over three that months. That was what surprised me the most, actually. How long is a hundred days? So it's kind of. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of incredible how. You know, it's both a lot of money and not a lot in a weird way. Because it's like when you think about it, it was three times 100. 300 people doesn't seem like that many. Well, yeah, when you see the comments, it feels like not a lot. Nobody so many, got it so many people are like, I really wish it was me, but uh, nice. And, but yeah, you know. because there was like fifteen to 20,000 people entering every day and yeah. only 300 people won over the whole course. Yeah. So I don't know. You know, the other thing that struck me was like when I started, when we started this, I have a bad habit of saying I when I mean we. It's true. Right. <laughs> when we started this 100 days ago, I fully, I was like, you know, 100 days, I was like, that seems kind of long. Like, we'll probably be, this will be behind us by then. I really thought so. <laughs> like, we had a serious conversation and we, that was really what we thought. We're like, maybe we should lower it to yeah, like, 60 days. And like, is it going to see me relevant by then? <laughs> I, the last thing I expected was that we would be in, in you a know, worse position. Yeah, a pretty much a worse position than we were when we started it. So, uh, and then the, uh, the other thing that struck me was really the amount of conspiracy. That I actually... I, did that not surprise you? I have to say, not only did it surprise me, um, they almost convinced me that we're actually, <laughs> that, it's not real. that we're doing something wrong. Like it's crazy. It almost feels like we didn't just do something good. It's so weird. Like it's actually making me really reflect about how you take in things from online and social media, how you really let it affect you because this is something that is undeniable to me. You know, there's no like, there's no question here. We're just donating money. It's a yeah, good thing. Yeah, came out of my bank account. That it's, shit hurt. That's a lot of money. It's a good thing, period. And then to the fact that people actually manage to make you feel bad about it or I don't know. It's weird. But, that did but it did get to me. So there was immediately a conspiracy where every winner would be like... There was a problem, I mean, a, a, in the scope of the amount of people entering, a sm very small amount of people, but dedicated, where they would comb through the history of every winner trying to prove that they were either bots or a fake account. The two, the conspiracy was that it wasn't a real giveaway and that we had, we had made tons of fake accounts to fake giving away the money, which seems like a lot of work. To Why? Fake yeah, away. what do you stand to gain from it? Some you just, like you get free to keep retweets? Do you think you just want those No, I want, the, I want the goodwill that I gave away $100,000, but this way I don't have to give away anything. Mm. But you know that's like fraud. I feel like that would be a really stupid, anyway, but it does, it, look, you, there's no logic. But like the people, the actual winners, uh, many of them had to turn their accounts private because they were getting harassed <laughs> yeah. by these fucking weirdos who are convinced that it was all a weird conspiracy. So either people were accusing the winners of just having being bots and like scamming or they were accusing us of faking the giveaway. I'm sure it was a small amount of people, but it was surprising and it just is really representative of the amount of conspiracy and just... Just how how right the now. negativity rises, you know how. Well, there's people conspiratorial about everything these days, and it's interesting because it doesn't come from you know. It, there is definitely some foundation to it. There have been people that have done fraudulent GoFundMe pages and <coughs> fraudulent you know donation things, and they actually just stole the money. So. It's fine to be critical of things, but I don't know. I found it interesting it's, too that uh, the the origin of a lot of these conspiracy theories was that the service that we were using to do the drawing, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, it, it automates all of it, so people would enter, and then um, I was the one that was doing the drawing, so you know, I'd run the the draw, and it would pick three people, and then I would go through and manually inspect their accounts just to double check that it. <clears throat> basically to address what those people were concerned about, make sure that it, it's a real person and that it's not a bot or something. And if it did seem like it was a bot, I would redraw manually and then give it to somebody else instead. And then because I was doing that, people thought, 
you know, we weren't on the up and up and we're accusing us of giving it to bots when really it was the exact opposite of that. Like we were, it, our action of trying to make sure that real people were getting the money is what fueled the conspiracy theory. So it just. Well, because in the beginning people were saying, oh, you're not vetting these people. You're giving all the money away to bots. So we said, okay, we're going to vet. We're, mm -hmm. we're like, that's fair. I'm sure there are people who are just botting it, trying to win. And right. not. so I said, okay. Let's vet the winners. Just look at them over and make sure that they're real people as best as you, you know, as reasonably as you can. And so a few times Dan would, as he said, ax one. And then they go, oh, these aren't the three winners you originally picked. So something's, yeah. you know. <laughs> right. And so it's just that's wild. Fishing. Yeah. Anyway, you know, I wish we could help more people. I mean, but I'm happy we're able to help in some small way. And um, it was a, it was a, it was a interesting, uh, you know. Experiment, I, I want to keep finding ways to help because I feel like, yeah. I mean, it's a drop in the bucket, 300 people, and now here we are. It's like 20% unemployment. And, uh, God knows, man. I don't even know. I really wonder now what's going to start happening because evictions are starting to happen, right? And I haven't heard, but I know there was like a, a freeze on evictions. And there was basically people who are unemployed are getting an extra $600 on top, and that's helping a lot of people. And I know that was slated to end at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what's going to happen. I know I don't have enough money to give all those people $500. <laughs> then I'll be, on un I'll, I'll be on unemployment myself. Um, anyway, the good news is that through helping people and caring about coronavirus, I have made it. To a Trump supporter stock liberal meme. Uh, Bruh. <laughs> I don't know how I made it to this. So you know how on Twitter people go, these are the people in the replies. And they post like, um, you know. <laughs> I think it started with people goofing on Trump supporters because it just shows a bunch of dudes with huge glasses sitting in a truck. Yeah, like the sunglasses. They're all like QAnon and what, whatever. So here is that the version of that for libtards, and I don't know why I made it. <laughs> what did I do? What You're did a big I old libtard, dude? That's why. Come Damn, on. I don't know why I'm being classified as a libtard. <laughs> I accept the title, though. I guess. That's pretty funny. I mean, I don't really fit the bill because all these people are kind of candid photos, and here I am. That's like a from a video, you know. So how do you feel being married to a libtard, Ela? I have no problem with that. Oh, thanks for saying that. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> but why? Well, what, well, which is it, Ela? Do you like it or do you not like it? Were any of the other people recognizable? No, no. Like, well, actually, one, oh yeah, they're Steven yes, Universe. Rebecca Sugar, the creator of Steven Universe, one of the greatest show of all time. Okay, that's her. But well, like, then you're in good company. Whatever. Yeah, I think it's a compliment. I don't, I just, why did I get this title? Why am I being derided as a libtard? You just uh, look great in that photo with a beanie. I got to start wearing glasses and just drive a pickup <laughs> truck. I'm over as shit. <laughs> nobody can, nobody can stereotype me. Well, let's wait for my cyber truck to All right. arrive. That is a libtard card, I'm sad to uh, say. Okay. Also exciting news, <laughs> Belle Delphine, a friend of the show, is back. <laughs> Can I, is there any personal info in this picture? I, I'm, it's all pretty fuzzy. You can, can cut, blur. you can blur it if you need I'll blur to. It. Yeah. I looked at it though and I, it's totally So illegible. Belle, you know, friend of the show, um, she just out of the blue, we've been working on this for like a month. She's like, hey, I'm coming back to the internet. I want to send you a package to celebrate for you to open on the show this was like a month ago and then last week she's like Ugh. i was like man i i wonder if she forgot about us because mm -hmm. i hadn't heard from her in a while then a couple days ago she's like all right here they are i want you to open them in this order one two three <laughs> now, these are like big ass packages <laughs> one of them is here it's like basically as tall two as i am you got two of them here. Over here, yeah. but the third one is so missing. this one is caught in customs yeah. and i really pray that it's not something so weird that they just like so in that's, horror trash it. So we cannot open them because there's an order. Yeah, she says don't open them. If customs open it, make sure your guys like keep it a secret. You have to order mm -hmm. it in this specific 
you have to open it in this specific order. So we have <laughs> two of them. I, I mean, what could it be? These are huge <laughs> packages. And by the way, I should must have cost her a fortune to send yeah. this shit. I mean, the red one is like as tall as a person. Yes. It's a solid five feet tall, <laughs> for sure. God, I love her. And she, <laughs> she yeah. shipped them like today or something from the uk to los Those angeles it's expensive. gotta be stupid expensive someone someone guessed maybe she's in the box yeah no <laughs> well, way i said zach would love that <laughs> talk to me baby vin diesel would love that if bell was in the box <laughs> vin God, diesel would totally creep on bell why what did i end up in beautiful world so i really have no guess honestly this one's a painting uh, i predict uh, this one is like she was selling paintings where she put like paint on her vag and asshole and sat oh. <laughs> so i'm thinking that's what this is but if i could that's be wrong. what it is how are we gonna ever explain that to theodore when he's i'll say theodore there's a girl named bell who put <laughs> paint on her vag and sat on a canvas and sent it to your, your dad <laughs> it's so good <laughs> this one i have no idea yeah uh is, maybe it's like a Full size cutout of her. The tall but, one? Yeah. Mm, maybe. You think yeah. she's that short? She could be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like five feet tall. I mean, I think like... uh, Ian, Ian uh, ran into her at the Pornhub Awards. She was really short, right? I'm not like super short, but. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, not. Normal like, girl short. Yeah, normal. yeah, normal. No, it's like five feet. I think that's reasonable. I'm saying it's a real doll. It's too thin. How could it be a real doll? A real doll? Uh, Compressed, maybe you have to inflate maybe. it or something. It's very light. It's too light to be a real doll. Ela, if Bell sent us a real doll, would you allow me to fuck it? <laughs> Absolutely not. No? Okay. Just curious. Is that cheating? <laughs> it's not, I but ask. I just disapprove. Not that I would want to. I'm just... Well, it sounds like you want to. Uh, no, like, it's a good question. Here we go. <laughs> I think it's a good question. Okay, well, the answer is no. Okay, good to know. I won't do it. I wouldn't do it anyway. <laughs> Zach's like, so you you throw it out, right? Who, who, who gets it? Oh, screw and, uh, you, Zach's yeah. like, and um, <laughs> what time does your garbage collect? Uh, so, we, <laughs> so do we keep it in the prop room? <laughs> Would you be offended if Zach had sex with the real doll? No. And then, but but then she's like, well, it's yours. You got to keep it. So Zach fucked it, but then we have to keep it at our house. I mean, she's sending it for the show, right? It's not to you personally. It should be on set. Not in Zach's closet. Oh, wait, you're saying it's a communal <laughs> real doll? Yeah. The whole cast? I don't, all but the, the thing is, if once Zach fucked it, I don't want to handle it. <laughs> right. Can I tell you a story? I don't know. We bought for one of my friends in college. Uh, his girlfriend was like, lived in France or whatever. So we thought it'd be funny to buy him a fleshlight for his birthday. And um, wait for it. This gets good. And... Um, <laughs> This was like when flashlights were new and it was like the weirdest thing, right? So we went to a sex store together and we we each chipped in. We bought him a, we thought it'd be specifically funny to buy him an asshole flashlight. Because <laughs> you've got like the mouth, the vag, and the asshole. Okay. I think the mouth might be the funnier one, debatably, because you're just like pounding a mouth, <laughs> like a disembodied mouth. <laughs> Regardless of which one's funnier, we decided on the asshole. <laughs> So we brought it home. We wrapped it up for him. We gave him the gift. He thought it was funny. Yada, yada, yada. Flash forward a month later, we're all drunk drinking. So it was three of us that pitched in for the flash, the flashlight. One of my friends admitted while he was drunk that he fucked the flashlight before giving it to him. What? I swear to God, he test drove the flashlight That's before disgusting. giving it to him. How the how about that <laughs> shit? And he like washed it out, put it back what? in the package. Crazy, you right? You can't do that. I know, but it happened. <laughs> hey, Eskimo brother, it to shocked flash, the hell out of me. That's nasty. I have I have kind of a similar story to that. Um, my mm -hmm. buddy bought one, and he used it a couple times, and he thought he could sell it. And he did. Some some kid <laughs> at our high school bought it. A used fucking flashlight. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this isn't a car or a bike. You can't sell a used flashlight. Did he clean he, it at least? He just put it under water. 
he just put it underwater. <laughs> yeah. He didn't even he use soap. Some water, like from the sink, and he sold it to the kid. I mean, can you even wash this stuff properly? Like, I... better than with water. Yeah, you get in there with some soap and a brush, like you clean up a baby bottle. <laughs> yeah, just like it. Well, this was not that thorough. I'll tell you that. Did he sell it marked down, or was it like, like how how was the deal for him? Do you recall? He sold it for half price. Half price. <laughs> wow, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> did the guy know it was used? Yeah, he did, and he didn't give a fuck. Okay, so at least he knew what he was getting. Damn, kids are so horny. They'll do. That's disgusting. <laughs> they are. They really are. You have any other? I I I remember a story. It's not really sexual, but it's disgusting. When I was in middle school, uh, two of my f I won't say friends, but acquaintances <laughs> were beefing. They didn't like each other. So he get he one the one friend has a half drinking bottle bottle of coke, and he decides to go in the bathroom and piss in it. Why? And then he gives that bottle to the other guy he's beefing with. Oh. And you know what's funny about kids? He goes, "Hey, you want this coke bottle?" And the other kid's like, "Yeah, sure, thanks." Like, <laughs> just out of nowhere for no reason. Hey, you want this coke bottle? Yeah. He's like, "Yeah, of course I want coke." <laughs> and then he he drinks it. Gross. And he spits it out. He says, it tastes like piss. Go to the hospital. Or the hospital. Go to the principal. The police get involved. <laughs> and it was this whole crazy thing where the police were interrogating us. All wow. of us that knew. And uh, it was this whole crazy thing, to be honest with you. But the moral of the story really is that... Um, you had some bad influence around you. This is like... This wasn't a daily occurrence. These are the story that pops out. But the the moral of the story really is that um, kids are fucking stupid and disgusting. Yeah. Right. You don't have any stories like that? It's... Girls putting used tampons and stuff? No, that sounds like guy stories. I don't know. Yeah. No me girl shit? No. Honestly, I have like almost zero memories from anything. I feel like I your memories. I feel like it's all been blocked. Yeah, it could be the medicine I slip in. Uh, I give you, I give you amnesia <laughs> medicine so you don't leave me. <laughs> could be that. That might explain a couple of things. <laughs> um, so I'm a stock liberal. We got Bell. You know, I what? just watched Watchmen. You finished? Oh right, yeah. And I love it. And Watchmen you Bell. just reminded me that I wish that I could take those memory pills. Maybe you forget for a reason. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't want to relive those horrible. I'm That's so glad true. I'm not in high school. I'm yeah. So glad I'm not like in puberty and all I mean, that. I mean, that shit sucks. I hated all that. So probably, probably chose not to remember. Well, they, they say the brain has perfect memory, but that forgetting things is a survival tactic mm. so that you can, you know, move past trauma and mature and grow and. Um, and that 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 it's that it's uh critical for for our well being to forget things. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're just more evolved. Highly doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I've been trying to do recently is I've been trying to get lots of sleep. Recently, as in the past two days, but I feel like I just I walk around and I feel so bad all the time, and I don't understand why. And you know, I feel like I'm super sleep deprived. And so what, why are you shaking your head? And so what I've been trying to do is go to bed earlier and make sure I'm getting eight hours sleep every night. And I woke up this morning feeling good. Now, Ela, go ahead and tell me why you're disappointed in me. <laughs> because I don't know, you wake up at like 11 to 1 sometimes. Yeah, I agree, but not lately. So just hearing not that you think that you're days. sleep deprived is just a little bit of a... Well, because I'm up to like 5. So just start there. That, Don't be up till five. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Why are you trying to? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Jeez, let me have a W for once. Yeah, I went to bed last night at like twelve. Really? I mean, the same time as you. I was in bed same time as you. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Because you slept until eleven today. Yeah, I'm catching up. <laughs> okay. Okay. But do you get sleepy also? Are you talking to yourself? <laughs> Zach, that's a strange soundbite to have. <laughs> it was strangely appropriate, though. It was. 
Ethan, um, Ethan can I bring something up? Yes. Can, Go ahead. You can't just not talk about the fact that you have a mustache all of a sudden. Oh, True. I can't? We can't. I mean, that'd be weird to just not address it. Right. Well, I've had this. We had an episode with iDubs. Yeah. Right. Complimented his mustache. And then yeah. we come back two days later and you have a mustache. <laughs> well, it wasn't. I, I don't think it was directly related, although the timing is suspicious. So who knows? <laughs> but I have had. I have had this this look before. Yeah, you had. And I saw pictures of myself back then and I thought it looked pretty good. My beard was getting long. So I was shaving last night before the show. And I just decided to leave this part, and I thought, hey, you know what? Let's leave the mustache. But it's different, I feel like, then, if you shave all this and just leave the mustache. I don't think I could pull that off. I think you need all this to kind of blur what's going on here, and it kind of works as a full picture. And does it work, though? Because it feels almost like undecisive. Uh, yes, Dila, it does work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for asking. No, I like it. I think it's cool because it's like, I like that it's undecisive. Okay. I like it. Kind of got the uh, Escobar. Kind of like, yeah, the, like, like, like Craig Escobar. Craig? Oh, who is Craig? The brother? Is that just the one like on the phones? His uncle or something. Wait, his name's actually Craig? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, that's the vibe I'm getting. He's just making it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys are dumping on me. I get it. So what's the process? How did you trim it? Did you just use like a bigger guard the on razor. the sides? And I have a beard trimmer. And mm -hmm. then basically I just, I cut everything, but and I do like a five here. I do like a four down here. I bring mm -hmm. the guard on the neckline. And then here I just cleaned up. I just cleaned it up a little bit. I didn't really cut it at all. You know? I think it looks dope. I think there it's good. you see Zach. <laughs> you know, I should be married to Zach. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to throw up a Twitter poll this weekend. M mustache Ethan. Must oh, you could throw it up. I'm not saying that I don't like it. So I'm not well, like... Uh, to to, like to it. quote you directly, you said, does it work though? <laughs> no, it's <was> very... <laughs> <That's just aggressive. laughs> I don't I'm like it. I'm just wondering... <laughs> If it's a look, like, can this be a look? The mustache? I think it is a look. And beard, like, halfway, because it almost feels like... Make up your it's mind. cool. Right. Yeah, but I think it's cool. I'm not saying that I don't like it. I think it is a look. And if it's not one, it will be one. <laughs> I like it. What do you think, Ian? Uh, I'm pro. I'm pro mustache. Pro mustache. Yeah. Okay, let's but go. But what about, like, the, the stubble stash? <laughs> I think that's, yeah, you've got to do this double stash. Because I don't want a bare face. I mean, that's a nightmare. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. I preferred this over the traditional. Yeah. Yeah. Hila's disgusted by me when I shave. Not like, by you. I don't like in general a shaved Hila face. Goes, Hila goes, really? I walk out with a clean shaven face. She goes, <laughs> really expect me to look at you like that? Not true. <laughs> <laughs> disgusted by me. Um, you know what I found I'm out? An open book. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's too open sometimes. Uh, you know what? We were looking. I don't know what was the genesis for this, but <laughs> what was the genesis for this? We have everybody's high school yearbook photo of the whole gangs. I don't know where it came from. What started? Oh, I think it was just I, we started with. I showed Dan my yearbook photo. I forgot about it, and somebody from the subreddit went to my high school, and I guess they have like an archive of everyone that went there, and they posted a photo. This is my high school graduation senior picture. Hit Pokemon with the Pokemon shirt, shirt dude. Yes. <laughs> because everyone else was in a suit, you know. <laughs> and Did they not have a like requirement. No, nah, they don't. Oh. It's just, I guess, tr uh, you know, everyone wants to look nice because it's their senior picture. But I, I, they, they look so lame because you're like in puberty, your body's weird. You don't mm -hmm. fill in a suit nicely. And these are not like tailored suits. Yeah. These are like rented suits that yeah. don't even fit you well. I think this was a really smart choice and ahead of its time. Thank you, Hila. Thank you very much for saying that. <laughs> Iconic. 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't. I knew I didn't want to wear a suit because it's just you look like such a phony lamo. It's like, dude, you know, I'm wearing, you know, come on, stop fronting. <laughs> Did your parents give you shit for not wearing the suit? Um, yeah. actually, not. They don't care. I don't think they even. My parents were so uninvolved in my life. I don't even think they knew that it was taking place. <laughs> <laughs> because so funny. you had to go to like a, <laughs> I had to go somewhere specifically. It wasn't on campus to get the photo. <laughs> so I was just like, hey, we're doing photos. You know, I need to check, whatever. They didn't even know <laughs> that that this was what it was. So I think my mom just saw the yearbook and was like, oh, Ethan, <laughs> something like that. And that was it. <laughs> my parents were very uninvolved in my uh, my mom jokingly calls me a feral child. I'm like, uh, f- funny to you. I was the loveless child that nobody cared about. She goes, my sister goes, oh, they were so hands off with you. They allowed you to do anything. I was like, yeah, they, they didn't fucking care about me. <laughs> they didn't do shit. Maybe it's for the best. Yeah, it is for the best. <laughs> anyway, here's Ela, who looks exactly the same. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Um, so was, I, was this, uh, this was your senior year? I guess last so. Last year of high school? I guess so. Yeah, you pretty much I don't, I have no idea, but I think that is it. I asked my mom, it almost became a fight just trying to get her to get a picture. Just the first picture she sent was all blurry. <laughs> <laughs> or it was super far away. She took a picture of the whole page. I was like, can you, can she not get a closer <laughs> photo? And it's like moms do this thing where they just talk and you keep asking and they just ignore and they just keep talking. Right. And then you kept asking, like, did you tap to get it to focus on? Right. I had to ask it like five times in a row. It's really exhausting. Yeah, mom's mom brain. Um, but she got it. So I look fuller in the face, but um, I don't know what happened. You look hot, dude. <laughs> You look fucking good as fuck. My hair is the same. I mean, you look good now. Yeah, you look very similar. That's kind of how I remember you back when I first met you, because when I first met you, you were 19. Yeah. We were young kids when we first met. But you didn't look like your yearbook picture, so... Well, I guess because you were older, right? Well, that photo of me was... I was 18. Yeah, you were 21. And when I met you, I must have been, yeah, 21. Exactly. So three years difference. College. You've been. Yeah, I went through. I was through. Dan, did you look like straight out of uh, Freaks and Geeks, bro? (laughs) Totally. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) Totally. He's such a sweet kid. The outfit is pretty crazy. Yeah, I think I picked all that up at a a thrift shop. I like. A couple days before the shoot, because is this corduroy? Yeah, it was corduroy. Wow, so, yeah, epic. That's a actually. Nice jacket. I kept that. I kept that jacket for a while because I thought it was pretty cool. Do you fit into it still? No, I mm. doubt it. Yeah, no way. <laughs> actually, you look nice. You look was, sweet. Yeah. You look like a sweet kid. Stylish. Young Zach looks Zach literally looks the same. same. <laughs> this, this was shot like a month ago. This is for yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, how long ago was this photo, Zach? Uh, I've been out of high school four years. Oh, okay. it's four years old? Uh, yeah. I guess you've aged gracefully. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Ian's is my favorite. Here we go. Uh, Bring on the jokes. Here, Here we go. go. <laughs> this is the fucking best. I don't want to say anything, but God damn <laughs> So, Ian, how long ago was this photo? Uh, that was eight years ago. Oh. The hair is very smosh. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's very, uh, uh, I picked up a skunk roadkill and <laughs> duct taped it to my forehead. Has your hair dyed? You dyed your hair black, right? Uh, yeah, there was a phase. That's awesome. <laughs> this is, but you look so phase. sweet and nice. Were you, were you emo at this period? Is this an emo phase? No, emo it was, Ian. <laughs> it was kind of like a rebrand because I I just got my braces <laughs> off. I just got my braces off oh. and I oh. ordered some contacts. And then I was like, "Mom, we're dying the hair today." <laughs> this is a new Ian. That's crazy. I was never really. My parents actually never let me do anything. Like, I, if I wanted to color my hair or do anything, they didn't allow me to. Why? 
insane. Did they think because it was too provocative insane. or something? I don't even know. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Because your psychological. Your dad was like a tyrant. Also very conservative, so it's almost like so. The, this is just making me think. Like, I wonder what I would have done with my hair, but um, I wasn't allowed to. You want to do something with your hair now? You're CEO now. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> purple. I don't like purple hair. Green. I don't like green. Blue. Hair. No. Red. I only like gray. <laughs> gray. Dye your hair white. That'd be so weird. Don't do that. <laughs> don't worry. You got plenty of time. <laughs> You want to try the the swoopy bowl cut? I don't know how you would even it's achieve the that. Bowl. Yeah, hairspray. What I mean, does how it did, take yeah. to do this? How did you get a fishbowl hair or a helmet hair? Uh, that'd well, be a question for my mom. Oh, your mom's oh, mom's she, a hairdresser, so she would do it. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. You got the Biebs look going on, dude. Right, yeah. it's the Biebs look. That's what it is. Yeah, that was very in at the time. That's Everyone true. It was. That, did you get beebs. chicks back then with this look? Dude, in high school, I. You clean Let's up? Move on. Clap those cheeks. Just like Jimmy Lee, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a sound bite. See, I'm a... getting messed with again. <laughs> Wait, were you saying move on or that you used to clean up? High school, I wasn't that successful. No, you mm. weren't. No. I did well to be uh to to I mean, I didn't lose my virginity till I was in college. So till I was nineteen. Not to Elo. That was, yeah. We didn't even have sex for a while until actually when we met. Mm-hmm. Until I right. blew your mind. <laughs> <laughs> actually, we met when we were 21, and I don't think we had sex until like many years later when you came to stay with me during that summer. Um, It's not many years. Several years, right? Uh, I think it's one. Oh, really? Because hmm. it felt like a longer. <laughs> <laughs> Many years. This is awesome, though. Elo, my folks were the same way. I couldn't do, like, I had to be clean. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Like, I didn't grow my hair the out until I like, graduated high school. That's why I look the same. So <laughs> boring. I love this stuff. I love these pictures, man. Anyway, let's move on. Everybody looks beautiful. Everyone's beautiful. We should uh, do our break. We're oh, little, we're over. Okay, let's oh. do a uh, ad break, guys. We'll be right back when we come back. Jake Paul. You know that the mayor of LA uh, chastised Jake Paul. He moved to Calabasas in shame. Now the mayor of Calabasas <laughs> is shaming Jake Paul for throwing parties during COVID with no social distancing or masks. Find out all about it when we come back from this commercial break. Ring is a product that I recommend without reservation to anybody on this planet. You know, this time of year, we're coming up on the holidays, kind of, but we're all at home. We're ordering lots of stuff. People are stealing packages right off the porch. Ring lets you see what actually happened. That's just one reason of a billion. I'm talking about home security. I'm talking about a two-way camera that tells you when there's motion on your phone anywhere in the world. I'm talking about the technology to, to talk to them and say, hey, dude, get off my porch. That video gets recorded and beamed up to the cloud. So even if some slick, wet bandits, that's a Home Alone thing, right? The wet bandits. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that was what they called themselves because they flood. I don't know. They flooded the house. Anyway, if some slick, wet bandits come and try to clip your power, guess what? That video is already beamed up to the cloud <laughs> where our consciousness will soon follow. Uh, I recommend Ring. I mean, it's it's the best product in the market for home security. At our house, we had like six of them. It's literally a ring of security, and I slept so peacefully knowing that nobody could creep up to our house, and if anything did happen, I would have a recording on of it in the morning on the internet. Like, seriously, it's just, I can't recommend it enough. They've got the video doorbell that lets you answer the door and check in on your home at any time. Keep an eye on your doorstep or speak to delivery people when you can't come to the door. 
They've got outdoor security cameras so you can check in on every part of your house and never miss a moment. Smart lighting brightens up blind spots to make sure you always come home to a brightly lit house. Full home security systems give you everything you need to protect your family, your pets, your property. And they also have a community, the Ring community on the app. It's got everybody in your neighborhood who has it, which is a lot. Sharing notes, talking about things that happen. I found it to be really actually really interesting and useful. I spent mm-hmm. a lot of time browsing that. We have a special offer for our audience. Get a special uh, Ring Welcome Kit when you go to ring.com slash H3. The Welcome Kit includes the Ring Video Doorbell 3 and Chime Pro. It's all you need to start building custom security for your home today. So just go to ring.com slash H3. That's ring.com slash H3. Ha, 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 ha. 2001 Space Odyssey, technology. We as human beings have advanced, inv- advanced times the day of coin purses. So why is it we're still walking around with wallets from the 1920s when the future is here and we need to be using Ridge Wallet? Ridge Wallet is the only wallet you will need to buy for the rest of your life. It's powerful. It's structural. It will never be damaged. And it's so slick. It's so modern that it's just perfectly designed to fit in your your front pocket without causing any harm. First of all, coins. We don't need coins. Let's face it. A quarter, what really is a quarter worth this day and age? Coins are out. All you need is a slot for the bills right here and a slot for credit cards that slide right in here easily. Now, I use a ridge myself. But Ela doesn't allow me to bring it to show you guys because I always bring it out and show my credit card numbers <laughs> on accident. I can't be helped. So I'm not showing you the one that I use because Ela forbids it. But you can show how the card would go in, I guess. Yeah, the card would just, they, they just pop in, they pop out. You could you could fit a bunch of cards in here and it's just so seamless. It's beautiful. Um, the Ridge Wallet. It holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. Look at these beautiful walls. Pretty slick. Pretty beautiful. I really like the uh, the burnt titanium, yeah, actually. Um, each wallet is made with RFID blocking technology that protects you from digital pit pockers. Oh, that's so cool. Another reason why it's so hardcore. You know what they do? They like People have like scanners in their pockets and they can... S- Stand next to you and scan your card. I did not Because a lot of people have like that chip that sends like a little Wi-Fi that you slide. Right. And so this actually protects huh. against digital pit pockets. Um, if it wasn't enough to win you over yet, check out their 30,000 five-star reviews. Boom. Everybody loves the Ridge wallet. The durable material means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. You could buy this one wallet and carry it for life. The Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it. They'll let you try it for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. Wow. That's pretty incredible. And today, get 10% off with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash H3 and use code H3 when you check out the Ridge wallet. Give it a shot. I mean, you got 45 days to try it and see if you like it. Mm-hmm. Give it a kiss. We love you, Ridge. <laughs> Welcome back. As promised, now we will discuss Jake Paul. Are you ready, Ila? So ready. So it, where where Logan Paul, I have to say, seems to have matured a bit since filming A Corpse in the Forest. Uh, Jake Paul has has only receded almost yeah in his they're almost level. like going in the opposite directions now completely i mean this should th- this story is really something jake paul moved to calabasas he's got this big house there and well here's the clip that got the mayor and the city super upset this just happened <laughs> Oh, is this going to get us playing? Video posted yeah. to Instagram oh, shows a scene that will have local health officials pounding their heads against the wall. <laughs> Look at this show. What Masses is this? of young people crowded together at YouTube personality Jake Paul's Calabasas Mansion on Saturday, partying away in the oh middle God. of a pandemic. Dude, this is awful. Jake Paul 
as our neighbor. Oh my God! It's bad. <laughs> that looks so ridiculous. Why did they have a tractor in their party? I think he's shooting a music video that just came out today. Was thrown out the window. Mm. All of them are over there hanging out, no mask, no nothing. Oh, all the neighbors the are like, wow. Inside and outside, day and night. And two days after this, we went right back into stricter lockdowns. Yet again, no. as gatherings like this I love fuel this the shot. spread of the virus, according to officials. You think whoever's operating that crane is uh, has a proper license? <laughs> Calabasas Mayor Alicia Weintraub says she got a barrage of phone calls from angry residents and she shares this in their frustration. Awesome. They're having this large party, but to show it with no social distancing, no mask, it's just a this big, huge disregard for everything that everybody's trying to do to get things back to functioning. It's really just a party. Is being the mayor of Calabasas like just being the HOA president? It's like just a, such a small little town outside L.A acting like covid does not exist it's acting that businesses aren't closed not far from the mansion this row of calabasas small businesses are now shut down again that includes a hair salon a nail salon and several others the mayor says they pay the price for behavior like this yep. our businesses are not going to be able to reopen our children are not going to be able to go back to school and we all have to do our part. As a result of this party, Mayor Weintraub says the she got fuck? in touch with the Lost Hills Sheriff Station. Hang on, let me go back. Dude, that house is crazy. Not going to be able to go back to school. And we they all have literal helicopters have to do our part. peeping on his house. <laughs> <part. laughs> <laughs> 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 house. There's a giant panda on his roof. Jesus, dude. How immature can this guy be? I'm just thinking, party, like, Mayor Weintraub says she got in like touch the only the person um, I can think of that would think this is cool is Theodore. Theodore loves tractors. That's like his dream. I was part. like, why are you, why are you insulting our poor son? <laughs> He's yeah, he one year old. He, he, he would love this party. Yeah, he loves tractors. <laughs> yeah. We should get a tractor at his <laughs> next birthday party. Um, Sheriff Station. And there will now be a zero tolerance policy on house parties. No more warnings, straight enforcement. No gatherings will be tolerated like this. Something like this will not happen again. Your message to Jake Paul. Jake Paul has actually done a lot of really good things in our community before with the youth. And I just hope that really? he can continue to have different actions and show that everyone should be wearing a mask and social distancing and not throwing parties. It's gonna kill someone with that there crane, bro. Man. So Jake Paul single-handedly changed the policy in Calabasas. With that. Straight enforcement, brah. But it gets better. Um, let's see. Here is a bunch of videos. Let's let's show some perspective from the neighbors. Oh, this is in the party. So my favorite part about this is there's another YouTuber, Tanner Fox. Okay. Tanner Fox was at that party and he was filming videos with all of Jake and his crew without masks, without social distancing. Mm -hmm. Now, a few days after that party, Tanner Fox calls Jake Paul to tell him he has COVID. <laughs> and he films him candidly, which is pretty epic. I don't know why he did it like this, oh. but I enjoyed it. You know, these guys are, they're like, hey, content first, bro. <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. And Jake doesn't give a fuck. And peace. I love how this guy turns in him having COVID into content. He's just calling everybody and recording their reaction like, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, just, what the fuck? Good. Hello? Hello? Yo. Nice tip shot. Jake, Who is this? Yo, man. Hey, Jake. Hello. Hey, bro. Um, so I have some. I have some bad news. Oh man. So what, what we is it? we filmed a video about two days ago, and this morning I woke up and I felt a little bit off. So I went and got a COVID nineteen test, and it actually came back positive. Nah, you're tri you're tripping. I'm really not lying to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're tripping. That couldn't be. It couldn't be possible that any of us have COVID. We've been totally safe. I'm, I'm being honest. 
Bro. <laughs> so I know I was around you and your in your team, and again, I, I just started showing very small symptoms of it today, but I wanted to call you and I, I had to let we you know. You literally just got tested for it. You just got tested? Did you get your results back? No. So just to tell you guys, if he got so if you're around someone who's positive, you're supposed to quarantine for two weeks. Because mm -hmm. if you get tested right afterwards, it may not show yet. Because mm -hmm. if let's say that Tanner yeah. Fox infected Jake Paul and he got tested the same day or the next day, it's useless. Uh <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what to tell you. You're not joking? I'm really not joking right now, man. I swear. I swear to God. I am, however, filming this without telling you. <laughs> well, fuck. Are you are you worried about it? Not really. Why? <laughs> 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 okay, well, well, that's good. But I had to call you and just let you know. Um, I just started showing symptoms of it today, so I don't know how how long it's been contagious, but. Um, I, I just, I'm glad you guys all got tested then already. It's crazy how, like, you literally called as I closed the door on a doctor, too. You literally just took a test? Yeah, like, five minutes ago. Oh, my God. Okay, well, when you guys get your test results back, let me know. <laughs> all right. So, Jake Paul goes, not really. I don't care. And then, you know, what's interesting, so, so this guy was like, hey, I'm positive. I was at your party. I've been with you. And then Jake Paul, if you go to his channel, he's still living his life like, like he's still out and about, um, which is obviously concerning. I mean, that party could potentially spread it to so many Super people. Super spreading event, they call it. Yeah. Um, he posted a video one day ago. Oh, that was oh, amazing. Wow. Here they are out. Oh, really? He's like, yo, uh, he's like, hey, bro, I have COVID. They're like, all right, cool. Well, we're going to head down to the beach and interview people. <laughs> hey, can you put down your mask for this, uh, by the way? That's cool. So I can breathe in your face. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. I really enjoyed the vibe. I could probably part Crazy, right? It, now that he knows he was in contact with someone who's positive, he's supposed to quarantine. For two weeks. This is wor This is so much worse oh than filming God. a dead body. This is maybe the worst thing he's done because his actions could actually kill somebody. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome how much of a dipshit he is. Like, uh, I mean, this is crazy. Look. What is so hard for people to understand that really? it's not... Yeah. Wow. He's like, hey, lady. He's like, hey. Whew. Breathing in their face heavy. Like, if you're not being safe, it doesn't show that you're more manly or anything like that or more courageous, or I don't know what. It just shows that you don't care for other people. And potentially, I mean, your actions could end up with someone dying. Of course, not direct, that's the thing they don't understand. It's like, no, you're you're not gonna, like you're gonna get all your friends sick and then one of their grandmas is gonna get sick or their parents are gonna you get sick. You can get it and have no symptoms. But one that's person, fine. But while you do that, you're gonna give it to twenty other people. He's gonna kill this porn star. Gonna build a movie theater. Fuck yeah. This is a porn star. Uh, just hold. By the way, so he's hanging out with a porn star, and they obviously have sex for a living. So that's not gonna be good for her career. I think unless they put it's not unless, good for anything. Unless they fuck through a hole in the wall, like the government suggested. Ethan, stop! I mean, stop touching your mic arm. People doing wholesome things. By the way, the new thing on YouTube is just get a porn star in your video. Uh, that's something the Paul brothers are both doing. Uh, Logan got the... Um, what's the name of that girl? Very famous porn star. What's her name? Lana Rhodes? What's her name? Lana Rhodes. Yeah, and then he got... He got this girl. What's her name? Emily Willis. So there you go. And of course, Tana. Sex tape? Jake is pretty much just producing softcore pornography at this point. So there you have it. That that to me is the, probably the worst thing he's ever done. Mm -hmm. I mean, th this it's this shocking. is so fucked up. But the the cream on top is the guy calling him and saying I'm COVID positive, and he's like, "It's chill. I don't yeah. care. We don't care." <laughs> His friend screams. Love it. What is that mentality? Yeah, it's pretty wild. Oh, there's another YouTuber called Pretty Boy Fredo. I don't know who this guy is, but he had a fan meetup in New York City during COVID. This was just recently. When was this posted? Let's see. 
This God. was from July 19th, so only a few days ago. What are they doing? Why do you have to do this now in New York? I'm surprised the mayor will allow yeah, this shit. Yeah, how is it even allowed? So here's, here's Pretty Boy Fredo in New York City, July 19th. Is this not illegal? And they're all screaming and jumping. Damn, people are hyped about Pretty Boy Fredo, though. Do any of you guys know anything about this guy? Whoa, all right. Mm, pause it if you want to hear what they say. I don't, I mean, he's just screaming. No, the guys. Yeah, does anyone know anything about uh, Pretty Boy Fredo? Nothing. Hmm. Nada. It nah, says it's a. F oh no, dude! He's doing a COVID nineteen. This is, dude. How? Huh? Ah! <laughs> he's doing a. He's doing a fundraiser for COVID nineteen on this video. <laughs> well, he turned off comments too. I noticed. So. Bro, you know how you can help? Uh, <laughs> not do this video. He Wait, made his Twitter private too, because I think he got a lot of heat. So for he probably turned this on only after he got a lot of shit. I wonder for if he it. used someone else's. Uh, it doesn't have many dislikes though. Yeah, the di the like ratio is really good. <laughs> Interesting. I bet you this is someone else's campaign. Well, yeah, probably. <laughs> what a good guy doing a what a good guy. He's doing a charity for COVID nineteen. Well, even the video it does say S SH charity basketball event. Something. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck. Couldn't you figure out a way to raise money for COVID that doesn't include whatever this is? Oh, we got music. Mm. Here's a video f from from the outside. Let's see what this is. Oh my God! Look at these people. So many people. Like statistically speaking. I would assume that at least a couple of people will die as a result of this. I mean, that's crazy. You know what I mean? Right. Same with Jake's party. Like, st just just from probability, I think they indirectly are killing people. It's so wild. Damn. It's so wild. I just, I really don't understand what's so hard to understand. You're not just showing that you're a macho. These by not caring and oh i don't care if i get sick i can't handle it it's not about that yeah it's i mean not, we understand but they don't but what's so hard to understand that's what i that's what drives me crazy it's so simple i think for young people like that it's cool to not care about anything apathy is like taken over yes. apathy is the like caring about stuff is uncool anything <laughs> That's kind of like the counterculture with with people his age. I find that on YouTube too. Like, if you care about anything, uh, you're sticking your neck out. <laughs> Apathy is the only cool way to go through the world. Um, crazy, huh? I don't know why he's not getting more shit for this because this is actually the worst thing he's ever done in his career, in my opinion. I mean, Logan Paul could film a dozen dead bodies and it wouldn't be as bad as this. He could go <laughs> dig up corpses out of the grave and film it and it wouldn't be as bad as this. You want to see something weird I've been noticing on Instagram? This is phenomenon. Where you cut, they cut the woman's hair with a butcher knife on a cutting board. They just go medieval on her hair. <laughs> and at first you're like, this looks really interesting. Um, because... I think we've all wondered, hey, what's the deal with all the cutting and bullshit? Just do a straight cut and be done with it. Mm -hmm. But what's funny is when they stand up, it always looks like really like dog shit. Like here, watch. <laughs> we got music. That yeah. already doesn't look perfect. But so then they somehow, they think that <laughs> whatever that is they're doing. Yeah, he's mincing. <laughs> it's like a chef. He's like, I'm not a barber. Look at that. It looks fun. It looks look crazy. <laughs> yeah. Is that supposed to be it or does he then go no, and that's fix it. it? That's it. That's it. So I have a bunch of these, but her hair looks dog shit. Yeah. So here, let's, there's a bunch of them. This one's got music too, Dan. Warning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. So here we go. You're done. This is, I love that that makes it all better. Just chopping the end up. It's not straight at all. No. It looks horrible. I mean. I don't get it. <laughs> it's super uneven. Yeah. Maybe it's a meme. I mean, it seems like serious people are doing it and getting it done. They all look like the. it's somewhere in Asia, right? Oh, oh what is this? this one is, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what in God's name am I watching? Is that a joke about it? What? An axe? It's so close to her head. <laughs> and there's wood flying everywhere. <laughs> this looks like a murder scene. Russian stylist. <laughs> this is real. Look how scared she is. Oh Whoa, what? this is for real. <laughs> Just use scissors at this point. Yo, this is like caveman shit. Oh, he's in a parlor. Look. Is this not a parody? No, they're in a they're in a salon. <laughs> Who found this one? Bro, you're cutting her bangs with that axe? That looks like a parody. <laughs> Dude, get that axe away from my head. They call this dude the Siberian Sweeney Todd. Well, to be more spray. <laughs> her hair looks better than the other people's, but I'm. He did put a little bit more effort into. The, I find this terrifying. Like yeah. there's wood flying everywhere. Like, bro, look at it. Looks like he's killing her. There's wood that is way too close to her head. No, that ain't safe. He's also, he's, he's brushing so wood chips aside. <laughs> He's so aggressive about it. Why does he lift it so much? Oh, she looks scared. This is not right. <laughs> this is so dumb. You could definitely use a scissor in that case. <laughs> that looks painful. Wow, that I didn't expect at all. <laughs> I don't Holy like it. crap. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like I do. It. I do not like that, for sure. Oh, is this a different guy? Here's another dude with the axe. And hammer. This is cutting hair with an axe and a hammer. Wait, what? <laughs> He's what? Cut. Oh shit! He's like going down to what? the scalp with an axe and a that? hammer. This guy is way too calm for this. That is crazy. See, in this case, I feel like the tools that we have are sufficient. <laughs> <laughs> the advancements we've made in haircutting technology is sufficient. <laughs> That's wow. a nice fade, though. I, I have to say, I the agree. fade looked decent. This that was, was a really good looking fade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. That is shocking. I didn't know you could cut hair with an axe. It must yeah. be really sharp. That's a really good looking fade. I have to agree. <laughs> Careful not Holy to cut crap. off the ear. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Whoops. I oh, and I oop. And I oop. <laughs> What was it from? And I oop. Oh, the Dr. Meme. Phil. Dr. Phil. Oh, no. And I oop. And I oop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like it. I do like the fade. I like it. Is it worth losing an ear for? It was a nice fade. <laughs> not going to lie. So with COVID-19, sports are coming back. People are trying to figure out how to do this. And there's a lot of excitement. Baseball, for example, MLB, they have replaced the crowd with cardboard cutouts. <laughs> and they have fans booing and cheering to influence the stadium. Look at these cardboard cutouts. Dottila. <laughs> They're filling uh, the whole stadium with these. Oh, this guy's got a dog. <laughs> I feel like it's more distracting, doesn't it? They're raising money. Of, they sell it. It's kind of a nice way to, for the people to be engaged with it. Yeah, it's kind of, it's not a bad idea. Not a bad I mean, idea, but with it. I can't help it. Like, it looks so weird. I just, I just had a friend of a friend, his aunt passed away, who was a big Dodger fan, and they put a cardboard cut out of her to, like, honor her. I thought that was, like, a nice thing to mm. do. You can get a cardboard cut out for 300 bucks. Wow. Actually, the, the price varies by location. Uh, the dugout pavilion is 300 That's the premium shit. Field level or loge is only 150 Excuse me, a field level or what? Loge. <laughs> no, it's pronounced loge. He's right. Yeah, Dan, what the fuck? Wait, really? To... Loge? Yeah, it's, it's loge, yeah. Oh, 
I stand correct. I thought what it was lodge. And it's you spelled saying L O G E, dude. You try to come at me. You better, <laughs> you come for the gig. You better aim high. I'm sorry. There's a precedent of you <laughs> mispronouncing yeah, things. Yeah, well, on this maybe show. the precedent just got broke. Maybe now the precedent <laughs> is on your hands. Okay, it's the loge. I'm sorry. Yeah, the loge. The loge. I don't. Are we go. gonna do the pronunciation game? If someone makes it, I'll play it. <laughs> okay. I can't make it because then yeah. the game's ruined. You know, it'd be funny if we had call-ins and people could compete with <laughs> on how to pronounce <laughs> weird funny. words, and then yeah. they can win a prize. We should do that. The loge is one fifty. The oh, you can get your dog for one fifty. Oh, so we were cute. thinking, maybe you guys have an ideas. We wanted, we were thinking of funny cardboard to submit, like OJ Simpson. Or R. Well, I Kelly. Feel like, I feel like it goes through an approval system, so they won't probably approve. Yeah, OJ. I, I, I was looking at the uh, terms and conditions last night, and they they have a line about um, uh, infringement on people's uh, copyright or image. So I think you know, picking well, a okay, living let, celebrity. Let me ask you a now. question: If OJ wanted to buy himself a cutout, would he be able to? <laughs> well, that's a good question. <laughs> They're like, nah, he's OJ. A, he's a private citizen. <laughs> yeah, but. But maybe they're like, ah, we don't want you, OJ. But if you guys have, H I mean, world, I, this is yours truly. This is yours truly. <laughs> uh, if you guys have ideas, I think we could s slip some stuff past the censors, though. Mm -hmm. Didn't you have a good idea? What was yours? I wanted to do Ben Affleck from the back. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> when the, the I feel like they, they'd filter that one, though, unfortunately. <laughs> we could try. That's so try. funny. Maybe it's a Ben Affleck wearing a shirt of his back. <laughs> you know but if you guys have good ideas email to us at podcast at h2hproduction.com I want to start buying cutouts and seeing if we could get on screen here's the uh, whoops here's the guidelines Hila. you tell me what you think they show you the do's and the don'ts right here um, oh so you can get like pretty much the whole upper body mm -hmm. from waist up that's pretty epic yeah. Definitely a lot of memes. Maybe potential. Ian's high school picture. <laughs> <laughs> Just could buy like a hundred of them. <laughs> we don't need to subject the baseball fans to that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's cute that you can get your pup in. Yeah, that is really cute. Here's a clip. There was a Dodger game a few nights ago. And you can see the uh, cutouts and hear the cheering. Uh, can you Can you give me some sound? On it, lifts it down the line to right, back towards so the these, I guess they haven't sold these seats yet, but you can see the cutouts. So those are all fake sounds, and I gotta say, it sounds pretty good. <laughs> it does. <laughs> and so weird. They are doing a good job with it. The sound is good. But then you see this, and you're like, oh. Oh, like, oh that's an empty stadium. It is so bizarre. It just seems like an amateur. Yeah, I don't know. Right? I can't decide if it's better than silence. I think silence would be so awkward. So, behind home plate, they have a bunch of cutouts. Where are they? They're ha apparently not selling a lot of these because that's an empty ass stadium. <laughs> Where's the cutout? Well, I, I'm, I I'm not sure in the clip. timeline. This might have been before. No, yeah. no, no. They're there. They're there. Oh, you're right. I, you, I just saw it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's plenty of, of inventory available. Well, I, I looked. You see right there? Yeah, yeah. These are all cut out. <laughs> and there That's they all are. they've sold. They've only sold like 100. <laughs> well, I, I looked and um, <laughs> the, uh, the two sections directly behind home plate and then all of the sections behind the two, the dugouts, those are all sold out already, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah. So we got to try to get some good real estate. I think without audio, it would be just super awkward. But you know what? I don't know. They're, everyone's trying their best in these mm -hmm. in these weird times. Yeah. I was watching the game last night. It was super awkward. Oh. Because the cheers were super low. You could barely hear them. Mm. Uh -huh. And the national anthem was kind of weird. Um, do they do fake booing? Like <laughs> Right now, they only have <laughs> cheering. Um, booing would be but, so cruel. Yeah. It, it, it's just bizarre. It's an interesting... Because, thing though, like, so it's only cheering because the the players would get pissed because you know it's just some dude pushing a button and having the whole <laughs> stadium boo your ass. Now the NBA is actually really interesting. What they have gone all out to protect NBA players and the and the uh, the season. 
So basketball is attempting to restart July 30th, and they've created an entire COVID-free zone at Walt Disney World called The Bubble. The entire NBA team and all of its associates is locked in this bubble, this quarantine zone, for three months. Mm. Press will live in a separate hotel. They're not allowed near the player's bubble. Anyone entering the bubble is required to quarantine for up to 48 hours until they register two negative COVID tests. Mm. Any player who leaves the bubble will undergo quarantine of up to 10 days upon their return, and they will need to register two negative tests. There is more than a thousand people in the bubble currently. Players, coaches, executives, medical staff, media partners, and they're using tens of thousands of tests, if not hundreds of thousands of tests over the course of the next three months. Wow. To get this done. The restrictions of the quarantine situation are a major issue for many of the players. They're being isolated from their families. Mm -hmm. Uh, But they have like barbers, manicurists, they've got lounges, DJ sets, movie screens, all this kinds of shit inside the bubble. Um, They're all wearing these titanium rings inside the bubble. Look at this shit. That if you stand within six feet of somebody for more than five seconds, it vibrates. Oh, they don't want you to stay near each other? No. They're so hardcore inside this bubble. That's um, so everybody I mean, inside the bubble has to wear this ring. I like how seriously it's they're amazing. Taking it. Yeah, and they say it measures temperature, pulse, respiratory rate, and other physiological data that could theoretically be helpful for detecting if somebody has COVID nineteen before wow. they even exhibit symptoms. That's crazy. Players will also have the option to wear a proximity alarm that will notify a player if he spends more than five seconds within six feet of another person wearing the ring. I wonder what uh, Jake Paul would think about all this. He's like, I don't care. He's like, it's chill. It's chill. <laughs> He's like, my house is, is a bubble of uh, COVID apathy. <laughs> we don't ask, we don't tell. Those rings remind me of, uh, is this the sci-fi movie where everybody's got the crystal in their hand that vibrates when, they're, when their time's up? The Logan's Run? Mm. It reminds me of, what was that video we made? About Will I Am? <laughs> No, no, no. We made about the that oh, weird the ring. smart the ring. The O-ring. Oh, yeah. Was it the O-ring? Um, speaking of... Oh, the A-ring? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> speaking of the NBA, so a lot of players want to get involved with uh, Black Lives Matter and all these social issues. So the NBA released an approved list of slogans they can use on their jersey or that they can say. So here's a list of approved. These are the only ones they're allowed to say, okay? Black Lives Matter. That's oh, good. Man. Say their names. You can't say their names. <laughs> you can only say, say their names. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> vote. You can say vote. I can't breathe. Justice, peace, equality, freedom, enough, power to the people, justice. Now say her name. Uh, there's a it's little Spanish. Brianna, see, see, say Pueda. Yes, we can. A little Spanish lesson for you guys. Liberation. See us. Hear us. Respect us. Love us. Listen. Listen to us. Stand up. Ally. Anti-racist. I am a man. I don't get what's... What is I am a man? So I think it's a anti-slavery thing. Really? Are we? Yeah, because I saw... In- I am a man. And uh, something that I was watching, they were, they had footage of um, when when black people were, um, you know, fighting for their freedom. They had signs that I saw there. Oh, I one, am a like man. I saw a few people, yeah, holding a sign that said "I am a man." Interesting. I guess it. Uh, I just googled it. I guess its origins are, uh, you know, it was very common for white people to talk down to black people and call them boy. Mm. Oh, yeah, right. And so it was sort of like, I'm not a boy, I'm a man. Okay. Good. I am a man. Speak up. How many more? Group economics. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was, that just, that doesn't really roll off the tongue. <laughs> Group up in economics. <laughs> Education reform. And, of course, mentor. Wow. Mentor. mentor. 
what is the what is the social justice message here? Mentor. <laughs> you got to read between the lines. I love that they crunch the numbers and they're like, okay, these are these the are ones. Okay. Yeah. So fuck 12 didn't make it, huh? To make the cut. Fuck 12? <laughs> yeah, What's 12? It's one of those it's an anti-cop chant that people Oh, no, 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 no. I'm surprised White Devil wasn't on the crew. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm also surprised, like, you know. We need to sound by you Race when you Race Wars said Now wasn't on there. White Devil. White Devil. Death to America. <laughs> Death to America should be on there for sure. <laughs> Osama was right. You know. Jihad Now. Jews that, control that'll be in everything. The, <laughs> the right. Jews are in control. <laughs> Wake up, sheeple. The Jews are in control. Holocaust never happened. <laughs> oh, Zach, how could you say it? that's not <laughs> fun? We don't joke about that. <laughs> the truth, Zach, it happened. The numbers are just greatly exaggerated. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> parody, parody. Oh, this was horrible. Some players inside the bubble were posting pictures of their meals, and I just felt awful. I mean, these are professional players. These guys need to eat. And these guys are all rich dudes. I mean, like, food is probably one of their, their prides and joys. So here is one of their meals. What? I mean, that looks fucking horrible. One scoop of mashed potatoes. These guys burn like, these guys need like a lot of food. This is like school lunch shit. One scoop, this is prison food. I was kind of imagining like it gets worse. Um, utopia inside the bubble. This it's, has just ruined my image of the bubble. Well, here, how did, what does this do? Oh, oh, wait, this isn't what I was. Here's another. Look at this one was even worse. Uh, Troy Daniels shares his first meal inside the bubble. Look at this. It's like air, like airplane, airplane food. food. Yeah, that's like there's no calories there. These guys are these guys need to eat like five thousand calories a day. These are professional athletes. How are you going to serve Look them at this? this? Like professional note with it with the logo and this is embarrassing. <laughs> this is how it came. And this is what was inside. Yeah, that's the worst. I mean, that is a travesty. That you better get some good, better food in that bubble quick. Yeah. <laughs> so one player actually, here, I'll read you the statement. He ordered food because it was such a nightmare. He ordered Uber Eats. And they, when they found out, they made him quarantine for 10 days. <laughs> How are they supposed to eat? He says, after the initial quarantine period, I briefly and accidentally crossed the NBA campus line to pick up a food delivery. I'm currently in quarantine and have eight days left. I apologize for my action. Look forward to rejoining my team oh my for a God. playoff push. Bro, you better give them better food if you don't wow. want them going out to Uber Eats, man. That sounds difficult. Um, this is what it's going to look like when they come back. I have to say, they did a nice job. They just covered the... There you go. Yeah, that looks really good. The NBA, I think, they're really... They got it together. They're it well, except yeah. for the food. They'll probably fix that. They better. Fuck. I mean, I feel like that's the easiest fix if they already got everything else like this sort of. Oh, and there's like plexiglass. They're they're really crushing it. I mean, they are not risking anything. I have to give props. Like honestly, it may look like onerous, like over the top, but you have to imagine that if one of these players gets it, the level yeah, of contact they have, it's gonna it's gonna swim through the league. Someone might die. Mm -hmm. I mean. How awful if even one of these players died. How what I mean, what a tragedy it would be. But also for the benefit of everyone, if they want to keep this sport going. It would shut down if everyone right, started getting it. They would have to shut down. So this is actually allowing for all of them to continue. Yeah, it's pretty it is pretty epic. I gotta give it up to the NBA. Uh pretty cool. Meanwhile, the Major League Soccer League does not give a single fuck. They're just doing it. They just said no audience and everyone else is just all good. Hmm. And they could be in here. And they have taken the I don't know. They're not. I guess they have no precautions going on, except there's no audience Absolutely in the crowd. But the I mean, no, I think they've got a kind of a pseudo bubble going on as well. Oh, they do. Yeah, it's down in Florida, which that's the same place the NBA is doing it, right? Oh, because here in the document, somebody said they just said fuck it. That's the official note I have. <laughs> Says, I, I think in regards to the um, uh, having fake audience 
cheering oh, for and the fake cardboard cheering. cutouts and this all that kind of stuff. This one has no fake cheering. Right. I see. Which, if you watch it again, actually, doesn't seem like a big deal in this case. Actually, the interesting so, thing is that you can hear the players. Yeah. Which is which is. And they could be in it's here. pretty cool, actually, to yeah. hear the players. Yeah, you can actually hear them calling kind of out nice. and stuff. It's a whole new kind of perspective. Mm -hmm. With the run of play, mind you, because LAFC have... Yeah. Um, it's like when people edit music videos, or or not music videos, um, TV shows, when they edit out... The canned laughter. The, yeah. Yeah. This, they edit in, like, smacking... This is our life now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You guys probably saw this huge Twitter hack that happened last week. So bizarre. I've never seen anything like this in my life. So many people got hacked and they were tweeting out a Bitcoin address. Elon Musk, for example, this is kind of the gist of all of them. Happy Wednesday. I'm giving back Bitcoins to all my followers. I am doubling all payments sent to the Bitcoin address below. You send one Bitcoin, I send two back. Only going on for 30 minutes. You know, I don't know who needs to hear this, but anytime somebody asks you to send them money so you can get more money back, mm -hmm. you're being scammed. Just use your fucking brain, people. Why would you need to send him money? Right. Why? Why? People, oh, that was another thing I didn't talk about with our giveaway. So many people were getting scammed, and I, I couldn't say it enough. I mean, I would tweet every once in a while, like, hey, you know, Mm -hmm. don't send money like why would I ask you for money yeah so they were getting this message like I need you to send me five dollars so that I can yeah why like why would I need you to do that it, uh, you know but it's not their fault they're desperate mm -hmm. they want the money they want to believe they won and I mean these people are just sick fucking freaks to take advantage of that mm -hmm. but anyway these guys hacked Twitter and hijacked Elon Musk Bill Gates What are these ones? What are we looking at? These are a bunch of uh, Bitcoin. Um, oh, they services. hacked. Oh, yeah, they all they all got hit too. Their message oh. was a little different, but uh, Apple, Jeff Bezos. It was wild. We were watching in real time. Yeah, and I just like kept Kanye. refreshing my feed and was seeing more and more. Joe Biden, <laughs> Mike Bloomberg, Bloomberg, Wiz Khalifa. Barack Obama, I think I said that. Mr. Beast got hit. Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Warren Buffett. <laughs> you know. And then, of course, Tenacious X, who passed away, uh, who said, smoking a fat... Okay, okay. I don't know. It's I don't you got me on the loge one, but it is definitely not Tenacious X. X, 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 Tenacious <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what the what I'm reading. What's here? <laughs> no. no, you're not. You're you're just like tenacious, tentacion. No. Oh, you're reading it like tenacious D. <laughs> yeah. Tentation. I mean, yeah. tentacion. I feel like it's I'm a weird reading, name. It, I feel like I'm reading it correctly. No, tentation. But tentation. That's Island. better. That's closer. That's closer. Okay, yeah. tentacion. I mean, the, I, I, okay. Tent, <laughs> so how does he say his name? X X X tentation tentacion. Right. Yeah. Tentacion. So anyway, he passed away. He was murdered or something recently. Smoking a fat blunt on my private island, giving out Bitcoin to all my supporters. I mean, these guys are fucking crazy to do that. Kim Kardashian. And finally, iDubs, which is unrelated. Well, that was so part of the uh, Twitter's response to all of this is they they locked all checkmarked accounts, but mm -hmm. you could still retweet. And so iDubbbz in 2017 had said, uh, if you're unverified, you are superior. So he retweeted himself to get funny. that message back out there. Because in that, in that moment, if you were verified, you couldn't use Twitter. Yeah, it was frustrating. I felt like that kid from the meme with his, the, his veins bulging in his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> like I couldn't tweet. Yeah. So that was, that was crazy. Yeah. And the, the Bitcoin account through all of that, I think they, they actually, I mean, they made what, like $120,000? Uh, something like that. Yeah. Cause with Bitcoin, all the transactions are public so you can see, but I think they were probably expecting to make more than that, mm -hmm. you know, 
like a major felony and hacking scheme. I feel like somebody's pr- almost certainly going to go to jail for this over $120,000. I think they were expecting more money. So there's no leads right now? Um, from what I heard, they suspect that somebody within the company helped facilitate this. They're definitely going to find out who it was. Yeah. But as far as I understand it, there's no uh, definitive lead. Twitter said, uh, we are aware of a security incident impacting accounts on Twitter, and they're taking steps to fix it. Jack Dorsey, the CEO, said, we had a tough day at Twitter. We all feel terrible this happened. We're diagnosing and we'll share everything we can when we have more complete understanding of what exactly happened. Our team is working hard to make this right. They believe 36 of the 130 targeted accounts, the attackers were able to access DMs. Oof. (laughs) DMs. I wonder what, like, Bill Gates DMs looks like. Do you think he gets nudes in his DMs, Bill Gates? I don't get that vibe from him. Absolutely, baby. (laughs) Elon has so good. Yeah, I bet you Elon's got some wild DMs. So that's that. I thought it was pretty interesting that... Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos? You got some weird shit. It's just, I find it interesting, like, that Twitter has become such an official channel of communication. It really makes you raise your eyebrow. Like, it's terrifying. I was waiting for Donald Trump to get, to, to spam out Bitcoin. And when you think about, like, Donald Trump uses Twitter as an official form of communication. And when a hacker is able to hijack an official channel of communication of a leader, of a world leader, um, it makes you scratch your head and wonder if maybe we haven't created a monster. Oh, it's definitely a monster. Twitter is all social media, but Twitter especially is like, I feel like it's taken over everyone. But it's, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of messed up that we are putting so much into this what yes, what is an insecure mode of communication essentially is what it proved and and I, and I mm-hmm. was I had some concern you know what if Donald Trump goes and tweets out like hey the nukes are on the way at Iran <laughs> you know what I mean um would it start a nuclear war probably not but it's still weird to think that 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 could happen yeah Yes, Shredder, can we help you? <laughs> can you guys see? You can see Shredder. He's climbing. Yeah, he's poking through. Shredder, what's up? You want to come say hi? Come here, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. He's such a good boy. You want to walk on the table? Of course. Hi. Dr. Disrespect has made a statement and done a bunch of interviews. We've been following this story. He was mysteriously banned off Twitch. Nobody knows what happened. Um, he posted a comeback video. Let's watch that. Oh, yeah. What do you get here? Probably Theodore. I don't know what dropped happened. Some yeah. food on him. <laughs> I wonder if this music's copyrighted, but it's basically just him standing in a, in a, in a alley and some kind of dramatic, uh, you know, 80s music. I probably shouldn't play the music, but so there's really not much to see. It's a uh, song by him. Yeah, but you still never know. No, nah, yeah, I was just pointing that out. Yeah, that is interesting. So there you go. Um, he did a bunch of interviews for like the Wall Street Journal and this and that. He's coming back. Did he already stream on YouTube or is that just something he's planning? Do you guys know? Uh, last last I heard, he hasn't streamed. No. So he's moving to YouTube, but apparently it's not in partnership with YouTube. He's just streaming on YouTube like anybody can do. Uh, There was one interesting excerpt from his interview. They asked him this specific question. I'll read it to you. They say, one facet of this story is that, and I'm sure you're aware of this, there are people coming forward and saying they know the reason you're banned. For example, Slasher was on stream just yesterday saying he knows why you were banned, but he doesn't want to say because he fears it could make him target of a defamation lawsuit. What do you make of that? He said, listen again, I'm not interested in engaging in any of this stuff 
or crazy speculation. I'll say it again. I have a great community of loyal fans, and I'm totally focused on just getting back to the Champions Club and delivering great, entertaining content. They said, okay, buddy, have you made any attempt to understand what he's talking about? Like if someone had dirt on me, even if I knew it was total bullshit, I would at least want to know what they thought they knew. Have you tried to contact him or any of the affiliated parties? He just said no. I mean, he keeps so letting strange. he keeps letting on like he doesn't know why, and I just don't believe that. Yeah, me too. Because if you really don't know, you would be you would be really loud about that. You'd that's be, outrageous. You know, <laughs> like yeah, that's crazy. So that's it. I guess we don't really know anything more. I mean, he did this whole. I mean, it's kind of interesting. He did this whole kind of a puff piece with Washington Post without really saying or addressing anything about the ban. Mm -hmm. um, Strange. The whole situation is just so bizarre. We're going to find out eventually, right? Wouldn't that be the biggest, like, that would be the biggest disappointment of all time if nobody ever found out why. <laughs> Can you imagine? It has to be. Yeah. It has to be. Yeah, I don't know. So there you go. Dr. Disrespect. Still shrouded in mystery. Up next, we've got Gamer Girl. Possibly the weirdest video game ever developed. <laughs> Let's watch the trailer. Hey, everybody. Abba Cake. Okay, cool. 69. Water time. Brick time. <laughs> Oh my god. So you are a monitor. Oh, so this is basically it, my... it's a simp simulator <laughs> <laughs> where you're a moderator for this uh Twitter or Twitch streamer and you're white knighting her as she gets stalked by creepy fans. Three? Moderator, what do I do? Like Moderators, what do I do? <laughs> become part of her life. Ah, like everyone fantasizes. From moderator to become part of her life. You know, you're playing role playing as the real creep. <laughs> I'd be more worried about you. Why is it specifically a female gamer? I just we don't get that part. Game. Gamer girl. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I know. What do you guys think? Dude, this is no, the most pathetic so shit I've ever heard of. Baby, you're streaming again? What's it to you? Boyfriend's angry she's streaming. What should I do? <laughs> Choose the story. Wow. Uh -huh. I'm sure some of them God, are, are being like, Great God, I love her. <laughs> what do you think about this game, Vin Diesel? Look how beautiful she is. That's true. She is beautiful. Would you simp for her, Vin Diesel? Me, baby. Right. <laughs> Vin Diesel would be a uh -oh. good moderator. Oh no, what is she doing? Someone is there. She got into some weird shit. How do you end up here? Oh, dude, her moderators failed her. <laughs> Man, crazy, right? Crazy. Simp simulator. How could anyone think that's a good idea? I don't know. We, I mean, our. All of us immediately thought this must be a joke, right? When we first yeah. saw it. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone did, but it's actually going to be really good. I think we ought to play it. I'm down. It. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down idea. to play it. And um, you know what I was thinking is if the moderator who's the simp you're playing has ends up actually being the one to kill her in the end. Oh, what a twist. I mean, it kind of did seem like that. Right. But I don't know. But why is it specifically a girl? What do you mean? Because that that's what it all is. You're you're a female. All these, you know, who simps for guy streamers? No, there's a lot. There is a whole environment about female Twitch streamers for sure. Yeah. And I mean, things like this have happened, right? I mean, there, there's been female streamers that fan, you know, some fan gets obsessive and Oh, yeah, Find there's out this, where they live and shows up at their house and stuff. It's it, there's a kind of a basis in reality here. There's a one streamer, uh, Sweet Anita. <coughs> right, right. I know of her because she has Tourette's like me, mm. and it's kind of uh, anyway. That's how I know of her. But she's a popular streamer, and she's got this stalker. She's been she's been like threatening her and shit, and the police don't do anything, and it's 
I just put some of her tweets and video in the in the doc. Oh, you did. Anyway, developers, it allows you to play as a chat moderator for a female streamer. You make decisions about the posts in her chat, respond to DMs from her, and work to help her make um, help her succeed so she can fire you if you mess up. Apparently, it's also up to you to protect her from a predator in the chat room who will attempt to hurt her in real life. That is so weird. Can't so, say it's not an original idea. I mean, just, it's, it's different, at least. It's Since, just weird to me that it's I mean, like, a, come here, be the guy that is going to save her. Yeah, White Knight Simulator. Yeah. Since its release, the trailer has been pulled from YouTube after facing widespread backlash. They made a statement. They said, Game of Girls is about the impact user comments and actions have on a gr- streamer's mental health and well-being. The reason why uh, we created the game was to raise the issue of toxic environments, which can often appear online behind the anonymity of a user. Without giving away too much, Gamer Girl is an empowering story of a female streamer who, with the help of her moderator friends, battle the trolls and overcome the toxic characters in her stream. And also, I've been donating tens of thousands of dollars to my favorite streamer, and she doesn't pay attention to me. (laughs) I really desperately want to be her moderator. Or I will trick her into one of my sheds and murder her. <laughs> your choice. Signed, the developers. <laughs> Choose your own adventure. You, yeah. Uh, yeah, so here, sweet Anita, who I was discussing, uh, describes her encounter from with a stalker. The stalker was caught and detained last night. He had a knife on him. After taking my screenshots recording, I witnessed a statement of the assault for me and a friend and having his confession to harass me. He's been released with a caution. So this guy keeps harassing her. She's been showing, like, DMs of him threatening her. I mean, it's horrible. I I feel so bad for her. Here's a video of her discussing. She's in the UK, so apparently... Yeah, so... Here she is. I um, had a stalker. They have been stalking me for quite a few months, actually. Um, They've been coming to my house. They've been sleeping pretty much in my backyard, watching the house. Oh, my God, sleeping uh, in the backyard? The other day, some shopkeepers had to intervene and kind of hold him back while he chased after me um, because he waited outside my house, followed me into a shop and waited for me outside the shop. And when I told him to leave me alone and asked if he had a knife, he didn't respond. Um, When I I said, are you going to let me walk home alone? He said, yes. And then when I went across the road, he started chasing and two guys ran out of the shop and grabbed him and then grabbed hold of the gate to... um, another area of, of town and I, so I went through the gate and they held it closed so that he couldn't pass them and continue to follow me. It's not the worst thing he's done. He has actually physically assaulted me. What? Yeah, yeah so the police so- apparently can't do anything. I don't know. I feel horrible. What? The situation is really horrible. So oh obviously this kind of thing does happen but putting it in a video game format, I'm not quite sure <laughs> what that's supposed to do. Um, but anyway, I do feel bad for her. I, I don't know what, what quite I can do, but um, I do look forward to playing Gamer Girl. Uh, Gamer Girl. <laughs> I wonder if you get to, I wonder if you get to like, fuck her. Gamer mm. Girl. Because you're, no, not like rape, but I mean like, you, you successfully white knight her. And then she's like, I love you, moderator. Because that's, <laughs> that's the totally fantasy, yeah. right? <laughs> Vin Diesel, would you? What would you think? Would you be her moderator? She's so fucking beautiful. <laughs> yeah, totally. That's why you want to mod for her. How am I supposed to sit over here when I'm looking at such beauty? Well, you are. Do need to focus on your task. I know she is beautiful, but you do have a job to do. God, I love her. Yeah, I know. That's why we're all here. But you need to focus on moderating the chat. Otherwise, the stalkers are going to get through. Talk to me, baby. <laughs> Something tells me Vin Diesel's not, not taking, taking it very seriously. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was going to say too. Vin Diesel, are you taking this seriously? When did this turn into beautiful world? He's out of control. <laughs> we He's need to fire control. him. Yeah. We need to fire him. And finally, our final story is Johnny Depp. You know, last last week we had a headline of the year. I believe it was something about um, uh, Amy Schumer's husband is not circumcised. 
Right. And according so, to Jake Gyllenhaal. According to Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> now, here we have another headline, and you tell me if this tops it, Hila. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard accuse each other of peeing and pooping all over their house. <laughs> I think it does. It does. <laughs> Johnny Depp and Amber Heard are going through a really messy divorce, as many of you probably have heard. It's making big headlines. And one of the stories is that Amber Heard apparently used to take big, steamy dumps in their bed. Well, according to him, and, and she just says, no, he does. Well, they have... The fact that they're both accusing each other of that. <laughs> one of them. Listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Johnny Depp in this case because they have text messages to prove it. They go, the court heard arguments over whether Depp was angry or amused when feces were found in the couple's bed after a fight. By the way, as if it matters, they were like, listen, he was amused by the dump. So technically it doesn't. <laughs> he, according to the Daily Mail, he wrote in a text message to a friend, quote, my wife left a whopper poo on my bed <laughs> and he dubbed her as Amber... As her as Amber Turd instead of Amber Heard. Uh, <laughs> Amber Turd. You Papa love. liked that one. Did Papa just laugh at that? Yeah, mm. Papa liked that one. Mm. Yeah, that one. Let's see. Johnny Depp's libel trial against her has taken a turn for the scatological. Depp is suing over a 2008 headline that called him a wife beater. On Wednesday, the court heard arguments over her testimony that Depp. Att- Depp attempted to spell her name in urine after a violent fight. And Depp alleged that Heard took a whopper poo in the couple's bed. Somebody tells me this was not a healthy uh, relationship. <laughs> really sound like it. Did you say, <laughs> did you say that, uh, that he's saying that she tried to spell something with her pee? No, he, he did. Okay. He spelled something okay. in pee and then she took a dump okay, in the bed. Got it. Uh, Ela, if you took a dump in the bed, I would not appreciate that, no matter how bad our fight was. Yeah, uh, I can't imagine coming to that. Like, what what has to happen for you, the both of them to come to that point? I don't know, man. I've never been that angry in my mm-hmm. life. <laughs> Heard has alleged that during the fight, Depp slapped and shoved her, leaving cuts and bruises. A state manager, Ben King, testified he saw cuts on Heard's arms after their fight. King also testified he oversaw the cleanup of the home, a process that took more than 12 hours. He said he was quite sure that there was no urine in the home. Daily Mail reports, I did not see any signs of urine, and I did not smell it, as I would have had someone urinate around the house. I I would have smelled it if someone urinated around the house. Depp, meanwhile, has denied that he would have been able to do such a thing with his finger severed. So apparently Depp claims his finger was severed when heard threw a vodka bottle at him. Heard said he did not he did it to himself during an attack that made her fear for her life. Man, these people two are fucking wacky. Yeah. If you're so if your relationship is so toxic you're shitting in the bed, maybe it's fine to just break up. Probably. Mm, I think they're working on that. <laughs> it's like, you know what? When I come in the bed and I find a shit in there, I'm like, you know what? Maybe this isn't working. Right? By the way, our dogs did poop in the bed. One of no, our... but not inside. And also, you could tell the difference between a dog shit and a human shit. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. There's a big <laughs> difference. All righty. Well, um, we have a surprise here today at the end of our episode. An interview with one of the most, I would say, uh, influential, the the quick-wittest, quickiest-wittiest uh, insult Comedians to ever grace our planet. <laughs> we have with us Jimmy Lee, the Jersey outlaw, for an exclusive interview. He's just been featured in Hollywood Magazine, and we're here to celebrate uh, none other than Jimmy Lee. So with that being said, let's throw it on over to Jimmy. Okay. With us today is the Jersey outlaw, and who, who we're today celebrating being on the cover of Hollywood Monthly. Which is, um, what is Hollywood Monthly Magazine, Jimmy? I've not heard of this magazine. Although, to be fair, uh, I don't read a lot of magazines. So what is this? It's a magazine for entertainment, you know, for the arts and entertainment. And we got lucky enough through uh, a connection out in California to get the cover and, and a very nice article in the June edition. Uh, thanks to Prather uh, Jackson, who's the uh, publisher of the magazine. 
Did you have to pay for this feature, Jimmy? No. Oh, that's nice. That They give you a really good spread. It's like when you open up, it's all about you. Yeah, it's like all Jimmy Lee. Well, I mean, that's love and not, respect. Yeah, that's through the agent's relationship, not mine. But in, 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 in business, it's relationships with people. So my agent who knows the guy asks for a favor. There you go. So I got I got kind of got lucky. I've never seen honest. that. It's like the Jimmy Law <laughs> Jimmy Jimmy Lee magazine. There is other yeah, stories. Well, the, the, actually, the following lady is uh, Ganja the Witch. I don't know if you read yeah. her spread. The Ganja you Witch. You see, you see her around Halloween. She's the one with the mask on, but it's not from COVID. Right. Yeah. Right. Of course. Let me read right. an excerpt here about because um, they they wrote a really nice. They says. Jimmy Lee, comedy is all too easy for Jimmy Lee. It's like inhaling and exhaling air. It's how he communicates. That is to say, Jimmy Lee is a wise guy. You're never going to get a straight answer from Jimmy Lee. You're going to get a funny answer, sprinkled with brutal honesty. If he's telling you the truth, you can't get mad at him. Kavish. Well, I wish that was true. Maybe I would have got on TV by now. I did notice, <laughs> I, I did, well, according to this magazine, you have a TV show. It says, comedy reality TV star Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outline, his hit comedy TV show, Dangerously Funny, is one of the best rated comedy TV shows. So I wasn't sure. Well, that's according to me. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> good. You didn't understand, Ethan and Hill. I have two fans. They happen to be in the attic right next to the air conditioning units. You see? Right, yeah, of course. Yeah. So two, what are, just two. So wait, what are they referring to? Two. The TV show, though. The TV show, according to me. Okay. <laughs> but what is it? Your life? Or you're like your YouTube it's channel? Dangerous. There you go. Yeah. They're okay. polite, light, and polite. So, Jim, mm -hmm. so what's your YouTube channel so the people know? It's the Jersey uh, Outlaw, Jimmy Lee? Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. Mm -hmm. So, Jimmy, tell me. Um, well, congratulations. What's, ro what's wrong with me? <laughs> no, I would never ask you that. <laughs> Hillary was thinking that. What happened? Did the doctor cut the cord and your mother hung herself? What happened? Jesus, no, I would never no. say that The to doctor you. slapped me and the nurse slapped me a couple times. Something must have went bad. I'll tell you what went bad, Ethan. I looked up my family tree. Four dogs were using it. Things aren't easy, Ethan. It's rough. Yeah, no, for sure. I get that. <laughs> I'll tell you, nothing's going well. My kids are nuts. They go to private school. They won't tell me where it is. You think it's easy? <laughs> Jimmy, I happen to know your your son is holding the phone. <laughs> yes, he is. My son is holding the phone. <laughs> How do you know? Well, I happen you to be tell. privy to the, uh, the pre-interview portion where your son was helping okay. you uh, get the internet yeah. going. I got two kids, Ethan, two good-looking kids. I got two ugly kids. I don't talk about <laughs> the ugly ones. Hill is not interested in hearing about them. And your son holding the phone, is he the ugly one or the beautiful one? He's the, he's the good-looking one. Otherwise, you don't hold the phone. Right, yeah. Uh -huh. That's an honor. You know That's what a I mean? place of honor in the Jimmy Lee family. <laughs> Correct. Yes, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. That's why I'm in court a lot. <laughs> I gotta say, you know he my has lawyer. A... You know my lawyer. The guy works for that law firm. Do we treat him in house? You know him. N no, I don't. Do we? <laughs> he works for that law firm. Do we treat him in house? Do him, oh. cheat him in how? Right. Oh. Yeah. That's oh. yeah. that's all. Yeah, the biggest uh, law firm in the world, as I understand it. Correct. <laughs> So, Jimmy, how oh, the, the jokes are going to get worse. Hill. The uh -oh. jokes will get worse. Jimmy, how is the uh, <laughs> career going at this point in time? I know you're you're you are um, primarily a dentist and you kind of right. do the comedy, you know, whenever you can. You also are a musician. So how how is it balancing those two worlds, being a dentist and being uh, dangerously funny at the same time? It's it's difficult. And, you know, we just came back from the uh, COVID and the business is, is mm. tough. Some staff mm. didn't come back. They're starting to come back. The revenues aren't quite where they need mm. to be. But uh, I'm hanging in. I'm working a lot of hours. And, you know, I'm still doing through pandemic. I wrote a lot of jokes. I think you saw some of the uh, the videos on, uh, you know, some of the uh, COVID jokes and the Trump jokes. I was doing a lot of writing and comedy during that. And, you know, of course, the comedy TV show has a lot of subscribers and followers and uh, good hits on some of the videos on the dangerously funny street comedy stuff that seems to be my uh my vehicle that most people know me from is right. street comedy mm -hmm. street comedy right. yeah um, do you ever do you tell jokes to your patients when they're on the dentist 
table? Actually, it's funny because today there was a patient, Miguel, and I had him dying for about 10 minutes. I started with the famous quotes and he was Spanish. I threw a couple Spanish one liners in. You know, I said I had a Spanish girlfriend, but every time I made love, she took my wallet. I had to break up with her. Wow, you know, once that... you go re- once you go reeking a job, you'll be seeking. And he was dying. And, that, and when he came up for air, I just kept going. And he <laughs> I... said to me, he said to me, you're a funny guy. He said, wait a minute. He you... says that. Yeah, you're said, like, you, you know watch me? my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. He says, no, it was kind of funny. Um, but it just happened today. Wow. Let me ask you this. Maybe if I, I wonder if some people who are going to the dentist maybe don't expect a routine. I wonder if maybe some people, I, I do. I wonder if you, maybe you've lost patients from, from that, or maybe you think that you've gaining retaining. Patients. Um, I would say may have lost a few that don't get me and, uh, and possibly <laughs> the ones that know me, love me and they come. Right. So maybe a mix mm. and match, but I say overall, I don't think it hurt me too much. I think it hurt me a little bit more hiring dentists that saw the channel and got offended. Mm. I lost a couple really? docs really? for interviews because of that. Oh. Not so much patience. Wait, Isn't how did they awkward? find it's it? It's weird. I think they Google my name and then oh, uh, it cross yeah. links to my stage name yeah. and they find a video and I, <laughs> I insult someone. I go up to fact, I'll say, I saw you in the casino at a buffet. Stop doing that. And they, they yeah. get offended because they don't know me as a person. Well, you I see? do understand yeah. that, that they would. Yeah. I, right. And I mean, I've seen you go up to big girl or, big girls to use your words you say you're you're a big girl you say that yeah. to them i can yeah, see why exactly they, they might find that offensive but you know yeah but hey what can well, you do forget about it huh you gotta forget about it. that's what uh you, you heard about nikki pumpanese you know nikki pumpanese hiller no nikki pumpanese he had a rape charge you didn't hear about nikki pumpanese he had a rape charge Pum- i'm sorry <laughs> okay we're doing a rape <laughs> joke jimmy <laughs> No, he had a rape charge downgraded to tailgating. He had a good lawyer, Nikki Pumpanese. Pump. I thought a niece. you knew him. Pumpanese. I guess I don't like, understand. It was, like, okay. like a niece? Are we talking about incest? Oh, rape? yeah. Well, you do know Nikki Pumpanese. You do wow, know. Wow, that's pretty dark, Jimmy. Well, how old was the niece? Yeah, how old was the niece? 12. <laughs> Holy smokes, Jimmy. You well, don't wait a minute, that it gets worse. I got a <laughs> Ethan, I got a I got a I got a buddy of mine, a doctor friend of mine, he got two years in jail for, for having sex with one of his patients. Having sex with one of his patients. He's a veterinarian, Hilla. He's a veterinarian. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. No. That's rough. True story. Uh, uh, two years from well, two it, years. You in know jail. what's funny about that story? But it almost <laughs> had a happier little... it had a happier ending. Cause like you know, fucking an animal is better than like fucking a patient in a way. You know what Dr. Phil said? <laughs> you watch Dr. Phil, Ethan? Yes, of course. He said, if you're not sick and you got to have sex with an animal, do it with a horse. This way you'll have a ride home. You got to think smart about things. Right. That's um, true. That's a good point. So Dr. He, Phil's very, very important. Too? No, that's not a joke. That's just good advice. Oh. <laughs> that's very, very sad advice. You know what Dr. Root said, Hilda? You don't want to talk to your partner during sex. Don't pick up the phone. Say that one again. I'm sorry. You don't want to talk to your partner during sex. Don't pick up the phone. Don't, oh, right, 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 right. I can't write these out. Jimmy, let me ask you. You seem like a ladies man. Uh, through, I, throughout your career, when I see you, you seem like a man who appreciates beautiful women. Am I wrong about that? No, that is correct. And that's kind of been one of my... My uh, sizzles of the act is the Bandito Girls, which I, I, I did that when I did music and it carried over with comedy and What's and we mix it with some security yeah, guards. And well, uh, I notice whenever you do your act, you bring some beautiful women along. Jimmy, are you what did you, have you had a, an illustrious uh, sex life? I have to ask. I know you're you are a well, you seem like a will, suave dude. I will be honest. When I was young, I was really good looking, like not now, but when I was young right. and yeah, I had, I had pretty much a good, a good run, Do you but I'm married you? and happily married how? and I'm fine now. Cause I had that when I was a kid. How many? So I use the girls you, as props. Can you, can you tell me how many women you've slept with throughout in your, when you were really in your prime? In my prime? Yeah. Put it like this. I grew up down the shore in the summer. And two or three a week to rotate wasn't wasn't a bad move. Wow. And I wasn't the only one doing it. I had buddies just as good looking as me. And, you know, you don't kiss and tell. But back in the days, mm. I, I did, the kid didn't do bad. Now, you know, you, people look at me, they look the other way. You know what I mean? 
That's yeah. kind of what happens when you get old. So you said you so, use the girls as prop. Do you do you find that? I use maybe? them as eye candy, as eye candy, eye candy when though. I shoot. Yeah, it's the biz. It's show biz, and I use security guards too. In in, in fun yeah. cities, what I'll use the ask? girls, and in regular cities, I'll use the security guards. I don't think it's necessary, and I I don't think I don't know. I wonder. I wonder if that's a good thing to do. You're you know? wondering if you, you should guys, drop the girls? Yeah. Should I drop them? You mm. may be right. I get comments from guy, oh, I like the Bandito girls. And with security guards, people actually think I'm famous. You know, they go, who's he? Which is good, right? <laughs> so it, it kind of works a little yeah. bit, authenticates you a little bit as, as an entertainer. Because you and me both know I'm a big nobody. But I got to, you know, sometimes you dummy it up a little bit. And, and you pretend you you bring your Sinatra <laughs> a little bit. Do these Once girls, in a while, people go for it. Are these girls able to keep their hands off you? If I was your wife, I might be a little bit worried. They can't wait till the shoot's over. Oh, really? <laughs> and they get their money and they run out the door and they say, do me a favor, next time you do a shoot, don't call. <laughs> no, they, first of all, they're told ahead of time what's going to happen. And some girls, if they're not comfortable, the, the coordinator will say, you don't want to do this. It's offensive comedy. Mm. And he's going to be he's got a big heart, but it's going to be that kind of comedy. And mm. if the girls are funny like that, they don't do it. But they're told so they know their preface right. you know, before we start. Right. And we've had problems in the past. So now we tell the girls at a time with the security guards. I work with two sets of guards so they know who I am and there's no problem with them. Mm. <sighs> So we we were getting to the heart of Jimmy Lee. When did you decide to settle down? You were such a playboy. You were. Such I settled down um, in my mid late thirties. I I pretty you, much. You've been married a long time. Same woman. Yes, yeah, same woman. As Good far as I know, unless if there's a weirdo fooling around with me, <laughs> and, I, you know, and I got a blindfold on, and I wake up with spring marks on my ass, and I played Batman in the Batcave, but. As far as I know, it's the same girl. Okay, uh, that's good. Good for you, Jimmy. You said I know the Chinese people look alike, but you know, let's let's not go there because every time I think about, it, I want to order. You know what I mean, Ella? You know, let I wanted sixty nine. She said chicken and broccoli. His, chicken his and wife broccoli is this late at night. <clears throat> is your oh wait a minute, Ethan? It was her son? birthday. <clears throat> it was her birthday last week. I gave her sixty one dollars, and you know what she said to me? I'd like that eight dollars more. Can you believe that? Can, can you do me a favor, Jimmy? <clears throat> yes. Ask your son how does he feel about the Chinese jokes aimed at his mother. How do you feel about the Chinese jokes, Cole? Ethan wanted me to ask you. They're good. They're, they're good. They're good. Attaboy. <laughs> he said okay. <laughs> Spoken like a real uh, Lee, right? He, yeah. He's a true so Lee you boy. Asked the, you asked the question and I lost my train of thought. I went into a joke. <clears throat> you asked me something. Uh, when I did forgot. you settle down? Well, no. You yeah, I settled yeah. down a little bit late because I, I, I was a Peter Pan type of guy as a kid and always fun. So my actual dental career took off probably when I hit about 38, 40, when I made it a business model and decided to do serious, you know, dental consolidation by offices. But before that, I had one location and, you know, made a decent living. But we went out a lot and had fun. I think I grew up late. You know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of grew I up know. Late. Yeah, I know. I know. I know exactly what you mean. So how is the yeah. dentistry business? Dentists make a lot of money, don't they? Well, they do. And I'm blessed to have a business model so I can do very well. And, you know, sometimes be able to do my passion while the office is run because <laughs> I have about 45 employees, nine dentists and managers and wow. great, great employees that, that work for me and they're loyal and they're good. So I'm blessed. But I also, he'll, he'll, since the pandemic, I've been working 12, 14 hour days, six, five, six days a week to catch up. So wow. my job is not a lighthearted job where <laughs> it's easy. And I don't think a lot of people could do my job. Because what is your it's job? Are you hard. doing dentistry or are you just managing the business? Uh, two days clinical, Ethan, and a lot of admin and a lot mm. of paperwork at night, hires, everything related to running a business. And it's mm. very hard. It's getting harder. <laughs> Jimmy, really what are we is. pulling in? Are we pulling in like seven figures? Is that what we're looking at? Seven figures more. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm high, right, right in that area. But the company does about six million. Yeah. Wow. I'm, good I'm for a, you. I'm a, I'm a, well, it, yeah, but Ethan, nobody ever gave me anything Abs in life. Oh, no, absolutely. And good I for you. Like a dog. I was a waiter as a kid, and when I do comedy, I work like a dog. And no one gave me nothing. I never had any kind of entitlement syndrome, and felt 
if I didn't work, I was going to get paid. And I made sure, you know, when I worked for people, I worked hard and was a good guy. And, and I expect the same for my people. And I work alongside them. I don't ask them to do something I wouldn't do. Absolutely. And, you know, I work just as hard as them. So I lead by example. Jimmy, what you know, is, what's the, how are you guys dealing now with the COVID? What's the procedure to see people? Well, what we do is we have them wait outside, and then when they want to come in, we have them wait outside, and then we move the uh, the dental chair outside, and we work on them, and we spit on them, so there's a <laughs> chance they'll catch the COVID. And when they catch it, we say we don't have nothing to do with this stuff. <laughs> you spit on your patients, Jimmy? Uh, oh yeah, and but by the way, I found out the disease is young and Asian, so now I'm interested in dating it. Oh, so good. there's a lot of stuff happening <laughs> with this disease, <laughs> Jimmy. What's the craziest thing you've seen as a dentist? Because I'm sure a lot of wild shit pulls in oh, there. I'll, I'll tell you what happened to me the other week. I had a lady come in, take her clothes off, and she said, Doc, I want to have these two pulled in this cavity filled. Two weeks ago, oh, that God. happened. Oh, God. And did you oh, yeah. and did you oblige? No, but I had a lady grab me in the private, and uh, I was getting ready to number. She says, we're not going to hurt each other, are we? I said, no, we're not. That was a very awkward situation, too. I can imagine. Uh, about about Jimmy, a month but, ago. But really, you must have some wild mouths pull up into the dentist office. I mean, in your long, illustrious career, what have you seen inside someone's mouth that really stands out to you? Um, well, I had a lady come in last week. Hilly, you'll appreciate this. And uh, we Busy cleaned her week teeth. last week. <laughs> we, cleaned, <laughs> we cleaned her teeth. And... Uh, when we were done, I said, you can go over to the sink, spit, and then you can get dressed and go. And she did. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for a little joke, a little side swipe there, a little love. And, uh, no, but oh, I, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I had a guy come in a month ago. He had a brown necktie. He said, how do I get my teeth white? I said, go home and get a brown necktie. You know what I mean? I messed that joke up, too, by the way. <laughs> uh, what? I guess I don't understand that one, the brown necktie. Can you explain No, that a one? guy came in with a brown necktie. I forget how the joke went. I forget. It. But I'll tell you, Ethan, <laughs> what I did do. I figured out a way to hide my bad breath. Guess what I do? Hmm. What's that? Hold up. Hold up my arms. Hold up your arms. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid that's I don't. How I hide, that's how I hide my bad breath. Hold up your arms. What hold up that? my arms. How does that hide body, your bad breath? Body odor. Body odor under oh. the arms. I'm like, oh. I can't write them out, Hila. I can't write them out. Right. <laughs> See, so let me put, tell you, you saying, Ethan, about right, me. Jimmy, are you saying you put your armpits in your patient's face? <laughs> Correct. I have to at this point. Excellent. <laughs> I wish you were my dentist, Jimmy. I would be getting spit well, on, <laughs> raped, and... Uh, now, and wait a minute. Guess what I give some of my patients, Hilla? What? Jimmy, why do you yeah, keep yeah. calling out Hila? <laughs> what am I, chop liver? You don't want to give me no, any uh, jokes? No, Ethan, Ethan, <laughs> guess, guess what I give my patients? I give them gears. And guess what else I give them? What's that? I give them electric, too, and then they, I turn them on. You know what I mean? Gas and electric. Forget it. Forget it. I thought you were going to say you shit on them because you say I give them gas. No, that was shit. the guy in the in the one effed up dentist reel that did that. You want to hear? Hey, Ethan, hey. want to hear a weird story? That guy passed away about six months ago. The guy in the third one effed up dentist that that shat on the floor, he passed. Is that sad? That's true. Really oh. nice guy, Steve Steve Whalen from New York. It's what? hard. He passed uh, away. Jimmy, do you? Oh. Do you find it, I find it interesting that in between jokes, you kind of just dropped that somebody close to you passed. Also, he wasn't, he wasn't close to me. Let's get that straight right now. Are you glad he's dead? No, no. Oh, because you just were, were like, hey, I don't know. Are I don't, you? that guy is not close to me. <laughs> no, I met him one time and I, okay. I, and that was the end of it. Is your son want to be a comedian, Jimmy? Is he inspired Colby, by you? Do you want to be a comedian? Absolutely not. He shook his head no. no. <laughs> what does he want to do? Does he want to be a dentist? A proctologist. It's a job that you start at the bottom and stay there. We'll have the top and bottom covered. Is that true? Uh, does uh -huh. he want to, a proctologist? Well, That's a. What do you want to do? Doctor, right? Dentistry? He doesn't know, but he's leaning towards dentistry. Oh, good for him. He's got a good career lined up for him. Yeah. Well, this way he could pull out at the right time, you know? Absolutely. He wouldn't be here if you did. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> well, that was an hour supposed to be a girl. <laughs> he just made a face. <laughs> can he hear us Hill, or can he only hear you? No, but Hilly, you know my problem, Hilly, can may I may I speak pr frankly? Okay. I appeal to people, Ethan and Hilly, that could do me absolutely no good. That's been my problem my whole life. Mm -hmm. uh... 
<laughs> he appeals to people that can do I it. appeal to people that can do me absolutely no good. Well, I guess I'm I just don't. being honest with you. <laughs> okay. Someone at home got that. <laughs> no, nobody got that. Not even not even your people out there in TV land. It's a tough crowd. Dan, did you get that? No. 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 Well, I well, apologize. Well, Jimmy, I want to say no need to apologize. Going through here. <laughs> I feel like you should write a book with your jokes, and then at the end, there's like the explanations, like in case you didn't oh, understand geez. the joke. Geez, you didn't get the joke? A footnote? Yeah. Jimmy, like, you have really beautiful skin. Flip, flipping through this magazine, I have to say that you have a really beautiful skin regimen. Like, well, that is called Facetune, a Photoshop, oh. and 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 makeup. They always say, Ethan and Hila, a little powder, a little paint makes you what you ain't. Remember that. I need to That's get what whatever I do. you're on. <laughs> yeah, you right. can, you can. I got a famous quote, Hila. You ready? Yeah. Abraham Lincoln, he said, all men are created equal. But you know what? He never went to a nude beach. Abraham Lincoln definitely didn't say all men are created equal. He said all men are created equal, but he never went to a nude beach because it's false. That That's implying that men who have have different sized penises. <laughs> Jimmy, no, are you packing you said, heat? You said it. I didn't say it. Jimmy, Jimmy, are you packing heat? What kind of, what, what are we looking at downstairs? <laughs> what? Four inches and that's the width. <laughs> For, wow! So you got you got some, yeah, you got like a beer can. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I graduated mm -hmm. high school magna cum loudly. All right. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. I told my wife, you know, you want to puff on a magic dragon, tell Pinocchio a lie. She understands. Right. Sure. Of course. <laughs> Excellent. I feel like I remember Ethan when the air was clean and the genre. girls were dirty back when I was a kid. Jimmy, yes, I, think I do. I think you should try to develop a drinking game where it's just cards with your jokes. Okay. And should we do a game with Milton Bradley and sell it? Jimmy. With what? Um, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Jimmy, um, how do you feel that our president is doing uh, right now? Trump? Yeah. Well, I think right now he's got better connections with Russia than with Melania. That mm. I'll tell you. That's interesting. That's a good observation. How do you feel he's... Um, handling COVID. I think he's doing a wonderful job. I mean, you ask him, he'll tell you. He's right, not shy right, about it. Right, right, I, right. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what I figured out about him, what he does with his makeup. He puts a bag of Doritos on his face. He puts it at medium temperature for about eight minutes and look how nice he looks at the end. <laughs> he's doing a really nice job with his makeup. In fact, he's on Match and Tinder right now. Are you excited about sports coming back? Oh, I can't wait. I'm such a sports fan. I'm a big football fan. My wife's my favorite tight end. Wow, he's got a line for everything. Oh yeah, <laughs> Jimmy, are you yeah. flying on planes right now during COVID? Oh yeah, not only do I fly on planes, when the pilot makes a left hand turn, now he puts his hand out the window. I'm on weird type of planes. In fact, now the no smoking sign smokes when you go in. Mm. I, I got to tell you, Those some are of the weird planes, planes are a little man. strange. <laughs> yeah, I'm strange. on the wing looking in sometimes. <laughs> Jimmy, yeah. um. Are you going? I know you're not supposed to be. Are you sheltering in oh, place? I golf. Are you, are no, you going I golf. To, I golf. Oh, no, that's not what I asked. <laughs> oh, are, sorry. Do you, go, do you go out in public? Are you doing things? Are you staying at home mostly just being safe? No, I go out in public. I'll eat at restaurants outside hmm. and I'm, I'm working. You know, we're PPP compliant in the offices. Hmm. And at night, I'm, you know, I'm with the blow up doll, you know, about my new girl right here with the blow up doll. Takes my breath away, you know, about her. Yes. Mm -hmm. And does your wife so, know you have a blow-up doll? Well, she does because I let the air out of her at night. She flies around a room. So, you know, she plays hard to get. My right. wife hears it. Sure, so hard. it's a little awkward. Yeah, it is a little. It sounds a little awkward. And <laughs> yeah. your son, is, he, is it, Yeah, is your son making a weird face right now? Yeah, my <laughs> son that doesn't care for me very much. Right. You know? Well, he cares he enough to, to hold the phone. Yeah, he's holding I mean, the phone. He's been holding the phone very steady for a long time. <laughs> he That's, is holding the phone steady. <laughs> it's the least he yeah. could do for you. Now, I want to tell you guys, this is me being serious for a minute. I want to say thanks because you guys believe in me and you, you help me out on the promotion end. And it means a lot to me. A comedian going absolutely nowhere with jokes people don't get anymore from 1982 that's <laughs> trying hard to get a little somewhere in the business. You know, when you get a little love from some people that have a little bit of a following, it means a lot from a little guy. So well, I just wanted to uh, thank you. Oh, well, that's thank all. You, that's from my heart.
Well, thank not you very much. I was waiting for a punchline somewhere. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm not a cardiologist, but I just wanted to say that because I you had me on a podcast. That. You came out to meet me at Fresco's a few years mm. back. And uh, I just for people that believe in you when you're a little guy starting out struggling, it means a lot to me. So I just wanted to say thank well, you. Well, of course, Jimmy. It's our thank pleasure. You. Um, there was one other question I wanted to ask you. Um is your son going back to school with the COVID? What's your thoughts on that? How old is your son? I guess I, I don't know. He sounds um, on, he sounds Blake's like going to Blake's going to be home, and uh, Colby's going back. What half time, Colby? I think he goes back two days and he's home. But I think with what's going on, with it getting worse, uh, it's almost you don't want anybody to do anything right yeah. now until it flat the curve flattens down a little bit. Yeah, you know what you, I mean. You got to be yeah. a little. I mean, Jimmy, I don't know your age exactly, but. I would be, I mean, are you concerned about getting COVID? Um, I know you're. you're well, double nickels. So not quite yet. Not quite yet. But, you know, getting there, getting there. What does double nickels mean? Well, what's a nickel? Five. Mm -hmm. What's double nickels? Healing knows. 10 cents. 55. <laughs> double nickels. That's your 10 cents. <laughs> double nickels. Double nickels. I'll be using that. All right. Big well, Dan's going to use it. Well, Jimmy. <laughs> Who are you voting for in November? Probably Truman. <clears throat> I don't believe he's on the ticket. Are you sure? I think I'm, I'll have to double check. <laughs> Maybe Barry Goldwater because these two guys stink. Barry. Okay, I'll write him in. <laughs> put Barry Gold. You know who I may vote for? Zach. Uh, Zach. I may put Brent. Zach in. I mean, look at that patriotic. We're all going to vote for Zach. Yeah, we're voting for Zach. I'm voting for Zach with that saxophone he played. To me, I'm I'm putting Zach in. Zach, is that uh, when did you play? Was it saxophone or guitar, Zach? It was guitar, play? Jimmy. It was guitar. Well, <laughs> Jimmy, you, you I... made Led Zeppelin look bad. Man. You, played, you played a good song on that. Oh, you played Sir Duke. I did. Yes, thank you. you. I appreciate you want, that. You want to hear the weird thing, Zach? Stevie Wonder didn't even see you when you did it. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Ta-da, Jimmy. Um, Yes. Your glasses you are kind of floating you off your face. Quote? Do you notice the glasses don't really sit on your face? They kind of float. Do you know what I mean? Like, like they don't rest on your nose. They kind of just jiggle I around. I didn't notice until you I said just had it. my nose done. Oh, okay. I just found that was, that was interesting. Is that a, do you specifically not put them down all the way for a reason? No, this is the gynecologist glasses. A guy that puts his hands in to the lady says, your hands are in the sink, doctor. She says, oh, I have the wrong glasses. Uh-huh. Wait, what's the joke? <laughs> he wore these glasses, a gynecologist, and he was with the patient. says, uh, doctor, your hands are in the sink. He says, oh, I'm sorry, madam. Oh, because he Forget thought the it. sink was her vag? Bingo. Man, that's like Double a nickels. big mistake. That's, that's, that's a big Zach misunderstanding. Zach was, Zach was nursing. He was the assistant that day. Yes. Right. Yes, I was. <laughs> Zach forgot. Don't you feel Zach like you could make a great drinking game from? Well, how does it go? How does the drinking game go? I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> not Dylan, let's get me famous with a, with a game, man. That's yeah. that's cool. Whatever I'll think works. about it for you. This is what's going on. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw, and Hollywood Monthly. So, do do what do you want? Do you want people to buy the magazine? Do you want people to go to your YouTube channel? Where do, what do we want the people to do to support Jimmy? It's not a we YouTube would love, channel. It's a we TV would love show. YouTube channel uh, viewers, subscribers, um, views on videos, uh, TikTok. What are we on TikTok? Oh, you're TikTok. On TikTok. There we go. We are on TikTok. What do you do on TikTok? What do we call it? Called the Jersey Outlaw. The Jersey Outlaw. Oh, that's where we need to be. Oh, get that. Get that. Nice crowd of yours on TikTok okay. uh, and, and YouTube. And uh, may I say something to you, uh, Ethan, that probably nobody has ever said to you? May I? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. May I on a serious yes, note? Yes, please, please. I actually like you. Oh. Well, that is nice. I have never heard that before. <laughs> thank you very much. Boom. Thank you. Jimmy, thank you very much. As always, on fire, on point. There he is. The Jimmy Jimmy <laughs> Lee all over the place. TikTok, YouTube, everywhere else. Hollywood Magazine. The Jersey Outlaw. The Jersey Outlaw. The Jersey Outlaw, people. The Jersey Outlaw's in the house. He's had sex with many women. Hundreds, would you say? <laughs> Many women, but no men. No men, sure. I wasn't, I didn't, 
Asian men are out of the question. Asian women are all right. Jimmy, the fact that you brought what up about, men makes me think you've had <laughs> sex with men. What about non-Asian men? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. I went on a gaycation many years ago. A gaycation? I found out. A gaycation. I found out everybody comes. Right. And I, I didn't want to do that again. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ethan. I had I had some problems. With yeah. That. Well, that sounds good if everybody's coming. Well, all the gay guys, when they go to the supermarket, you find them in the fruit section. It was a little weird. So I didn't want to go that mm, route. That sounds offensive, you know I mean? possibly, but I get it. Yeah. Jimmy, are we talking hundreds? Are we talking thousands? What are we talking here? Thousands. I know. Some men Chick, have had that chicks, many women. Chicks? Yeah. A lot. A yeah. lot. Over 100? But no more. No more. Oh, way over a hundred. Yeah. What? Did yeah. you see? Did you see what I? You see like how he reacted? Over two hundred? Are we pushing five hundred? More. What? Whoa! We need a Ethan. Buck. Ethan, have Zach pull up my Facebook page and look at the picture when I was twenty-five, real quick. Let's pull, Zach, up, pull it up. Facebook. Let's see. Pull it up right let's now. see the Find young, the beautiful buck. Me, the black and white picture of me. Let's see when the I was buck. Twenty-five, and you'll see why. It over five hundred. Yeah. I mean. Oh, yeah. But no more. Spider doesn't work well that much. I'm older now. Do you still now when you um this I'm um, apologies Don't destroy uh for, for being crass, but at a certain age I know that like do you still have a libido? Does anything come oh, out? Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I do, but my when you get older you change, you know, my priorities are different. I work a lot of hours and you know, uh, I love to do comedy and on weekends I relax. I like to go to the diner and eat with friends. Sex, sex is lower. When you change. It sex sounds isn't like before really it was up your... there as you get a little bit older. But when you're young, you know, anybody talks and breathes and moves and, you know, spider wakes up and you, you, spider you, wakes you, you up. attack them. Jimmy, are we talking a thousand? Are we nearing a thousand? In the summers down the shore, think about how many people are down there for three months. Think what? about that. I grew up down in Margate, down by Atlantic City, and the casinos. And when you go out at night and you're good looking and young, things happen. Wow. I mean, it sounds jamming. like it was your full time job. <laughs> no, no, no. Because in the winter, then he, he, what happens is in the wintertime, it's different because you're it's not busy down the shore. So you got to get, get it out when it's busy. It wasn't busy in the winter, in the summer. You ever catch Did anything? Did you find a photo? <laughs> Zach's looking. You ever catch anything, Jimmy, during those days? Well, you know, everybody used to clap when I did my show. I said, don't do that. I had that a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hear that. Knock wood. I <laughs> uh, used the, uh, what do they call it? The, the raincoat? What do you call that, Zach? The raincoat? I believe it's called a condom. Yes. Condom. Condom. <laughs> yes. In England, they call it a condom. Yes. So I was pretty, uh, what's the word here? It's self-conscious. So the raincoat went what's on. The word. Save. Yeah, I have save. no idea. Yeah. The raincoat. <laughs> we call it the raincoat. And are you and your wife still active? Very active. We are in separate bedrooms. We barely talk to each other. <laughs> but once in a while, we have, well, we do have sex, uh, Ethan, almost every day in a week. You know, almost Monday, almost Tuesday, right. almost Wednesday. All right. That's All about right. it. Right. There you go. That's Where's that name. photo? Zach is looking feverishly. I can Jimmy, see. You have like 15 different Facebook pages. Like, Jimmy Lee, the Jersey <laughs> Yeah, there's like 15 Jimmy, different public, Facebook pages. Wait, Jimmy, figure, why do you have so many Facebook figure. pages? There's so many no. different pages. Is it under no. your real name? No, go Jimmy Lee public figure. <laughs> Jimmy, It has a picture with me and the models. Jimmy, why do you have so many Facebook pages? I have old ones that I don't use. I only use the one. I don't know why. Cool. Why are the old Jimmy, ones up? Um, you know what would be interesting to try for a video instead of those models? It would be interesting to see your wife just kind of like how he how she reacts to wow. your madness. She oh, just... she she makes faces and walks away. See that? She knows no, no, that that sounds like an interesting video. I agree. I can't get the wife and the kids to go on. The That's what would make it great, Jimmy. Agent. Bring your son and your wife to react instead of the models. Yes. Would you want to do it, Cole? Colby made a face he made, but we can't tell mom, right, Colb? Yeah, Colb's making a face. He can hear us? I Can no. you hear what they're saying, Colb? Oh, Colby can hear you. I didn't oh, know he can. can hear you. Oh, okay. He can hear you. Yeah. Did Colby, no picture, guys? Uh, Colby, what do you think about your dad's um, pursuit of comedy? Do you think he should give it up, and or do you think he... Are you yeah. proud of your dad? What do you think, Colb? Should I give it up or stick with it? Be honest. Yeah, be honest with us. Give it up. He said, give it up. 
Hmm. How do you? Uh, why do you think he should give it up? He clearly cares a lot about it. Why should I? Not give it good. Because he good. says I'm Oof. not. I'm not really relevant and good. Does that hurt your feelings, Jimmy? A little bit. Oh. Uh. Aw. Did you think your son thought you were a good act? Uh, well, Colby's the one more like me, so I guess I did at one point. He mm. just says I'm too passe. Like, Colby, is that what you said? Uh, I'm not caring. Well, you do do, like, the offensive kind of comedy, which is probably something the, of the past. That Yeah, it's old. Especially yeah. in 2020. It's the old um, tiny the, insult comedy. Yeah. And it doesn't go, like, but you know what is weird? <clears throat> My my agent Roger, he says, you know, no one does it. It's funny that there's not a niche for you because mm. no one does what you do. Yet people won't bring you in because it's so politically correct, and there's a Me Too movement with women. <laughs> so it's almost like if you touch someone or you insult someone, you're going to like end up in jail and get beat up. Where when Rickles would do a roast and he'd say to the black guy, "To take the show's done, clean the tables up." <laughs> you do that today, they want to grab you and beat you up. So it's yeah. kind of like the stuff that I do, which is what I remember. As well, a to kid. be yeah, fair, Jimmy, the 80s I mean, don't work. to be fair, Jimmy, you could own slaves at one point, and we don't like, allow that anymore. <laughs> Obviously, that's an extreme example, but <laughs> times do change. Right, right, right. So my problem, I think, was my age is I'm not as adaptable to change, and the style I have, I do. And my videographer and agent said, if you changed. And there was a production lady in L.A., Sue Haber, who said, if you change, Zach. I'd develop you. You probably could hit your, your clothes you're wearing are outdated. Your jokes are outdated. Mm, the but clothes? you have to totally Damn. change. That's huh. what she told me. Really? Mm -hmm. I like your I like your your bit, uh, your routine. I, I mean, I can't How speak. How do you tell a singer that sings country, you start singing Motown? I'm who I am as an artist. Right, you can't right. tell Tony Bennett to sing like uh the one connection band. Zach, what is so going I'm who on? I am. Zach is in the matrix trying <laughs> everything to find this photo. I, I uploaded three of them to Discord oh, and go on my face. Oh, okay. Oh, can you get so to we've got phone? some. We've got okay. some. All right, let's see. Find, find the black and white that. photo of me. That's not Wait, this isn't young. Or well well you tell this me if this is what you meant, Jimmy. <laughs> Here. Is let's this oh can call. Jimmy see what I'm seeing? Uh, you no, you'd have to screen share. Okay, I'm going to screen share, Jimmy, and you can tell me if this is the It's photo. a black and white picture. I look what, like Why don't you Trump send it? Black and white? Oh, it's black and white. Mm, this isn't it, white. Zach. It's a modeling shot I did when I was like can 24. Can you send it to Zach? 24, Zach. I, Cole, I'm can you, not um, seeing anything on Hold here. on. <laughs> can you go on my Facebook? You can't, can you? Cole can't leave here. Yeah, can I hold I that? You get on, go on your phone. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to. No you you got to understand. If you go there on are... Facebook, Jimmy Lee, it's, it's, it's hold on. Hold on, Jimmy. Hold on. Hold on. One sec. There, Jimmy. There, it's a good picture. Jimmy. Jimmy. Hold on one sec. Dan, go ahead. Yeah, there's uh, I'm on his Facebook there. You have literally thousands of pictures. Like I've been scrolling <laughs> for the last five minutes. <laughs> It's not an exaggeration. Go there are thousands Dan, go of into pictures. Albums go to albums and find Dan. the black and white album. Okay. You'll find it. <laughs> You'll find it. <laughs> There's okay. one album with six pictures. It's black and white. You'll see it. <laughs> so your family doesn't seem, hmm. I don't know how to, f I, I, I would, I'm a little sad that we, that you, it seems like you're, you're, I don't, I don't want to cause a rift or anything, but. It's got to be difficult to pursue something that maybe everyone. I don't have the support of my family with this. My wife, not really. My oldest son doesn't care. Colby kind of helps me with it, with stuff and videos, and he kind of gets me. But he said, if you change, you could probably be more successful. He was giving me good advice, what, mm -hmm. two months ago, Colby? He was telling me the truth. I guess it's hard to change because of my Colby, age. What is it, Colby, what is it about his act that you think he should give it up? I mean, it just... Just give us a little it. more insight because it seems what like. Why should I change it or give it up, Cole? What's wrong with yeah, it? Yeah. It's too old. Too old style. Offen He's offensive. Too, well, hold offensive. on. Your, your dad is yeah, too old or no. the bit is too old? The bit. The, the comedy. The comedy the, bit is too antiquated. It's too antiquated. The offensive type. Yeah, I, I kind of have to agree. And that's what Sue, that's what the girl lady said in California. She said, you're still nice looking for a middle-aged guy. If you start wearing John Varvatos and you do a observational comedy, you are funny, but you have to change right. your style and your look. She said, uh, it's not hard to do. Uh, what's your son's name? Colby? I Colby? found it. Colby. Colby. Colby, who's Colby. your favorite uh, comedian? Who do you like for comedy, Colby? 
I don't really like comedians. He likes basketball. He doesn't like sports. comedians. Damn. He likes sports. He's rejected the art of comedy, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's rejected uh, me, it seems like. <laughs> I got I to gotta pick in uh, Okay, we got, we got guys. the picture. Oh. This, this will show you why We I'm got the picture, Jimmy. The this is the guy that fucked your sister and mom in the same day. <laughs> Oh, Look at the outlaw. <laughs> Chiseled, beautiful. Look at that wow. hair. That was the kid in the day. That was in like 1990. Damn. I guess. Wow. But that's why when you asked How me, I wasn't lying. I wanted you to see the photo. I'd, fuck, I'd fuck you, Jimmy. <laughs> well, I wasn't a lemon drop. I wasn't like my loafers. But lemon Zach, drop. <laughs> Zach would be a second choice. Yeah, you know Zach, of saying. course. Everybody wants to fuck Zach. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you Zach would be my second choice. <laughs> Dan yeah. would be my first choice. Oh, really? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy, we've learned I love a you lot. Guys. We've learned a lot. Uh, yeah. Got a lot of insight. I wonder if we can develop a new comedy maybe you style. Can, maybe you can just give it a shot. Maybe work with Could your I do son. It, That's what this girl Susan told me to do. Yeah, because you're 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 a funny guy. No pun intended. Just don't piss everybody <laughs> the, the off. Video do modern comedy. <laughs> well, why don't you just write some material about you know what's something you're passionate about? I mean, dentistry, for example. What's a topic you know? We can make some observational humor, a story. I think slow it yeah. down a little bit, you know? Right. I do think the fact that you're a dentist is very interesting. So a combination of a comedian who is also a dentist. But could... modern style comedy, a modern well, look maybe may work. I love the dentist mm -hmm. comedy connection. You know, yeah. they say they say that dentists are the highest rate of suicide of any profession. What's the deal with that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just dropped dead. <laughs> the big one, Ethel. <laughs> well, they kill themselves. Why are all? Why are dentists killing themselves? Well, I think they're depressed. Why? Why are dentists depressed? Have you looked at what dentists mostly look like? They're ugly. So oh. if you look at the mirror at yourself every day, and you're ugly, you, you, you kill yourself. I dentists was are ugly. I was blessed with. Uh, a receding hairline, a five head, not a forehead. <laughs> five uh, head. Gay, gay glasses, a shirt from 1987, jokes from 1977, <laughs> and uh, and a little bit of money. And, and and I'm carrying on Zach's tradition where he plays guitar. I do gay jokes in Las Vegas, and we're both going absolutely nowhere quickly, <laughs> if I may say so. Even though Zach's uncle was a gangster with the mob and I ran the bootlegging shit and whatever all that. And Sir Duke was a good friend of his and Stevie Wonder, and they played guitar together and saxophone. Zach, and uh, I Jimmy, I gotta. St I mean, I, I'm not. I haven't been following you for like a fair couple of minutes, so I figured I was. Yeah, I haven't been following myself, yeah. Jimmy. I do want to see you succeed. I do want to see you do yeah. well. Thank you. I love Thank to. I love to nice. have you back on the show and maybe, maybe try to develop kind of maybe a more modern, yeah, mo okay. more modern kind of shtick. Maybe so about race relations or something. About about what? About race relations, Black Lives Matter, something like that. Maybe we could talk about the ball game. Did your son how just you, whisper something? How do you pay? Did your son just whisper? You? End it. <laughs> Cole, what did you just say? End it. He just said end it. He whispered. <laughs> Cole, come on. Yeah, your your oh. son knows how to read the room. <laughs> Uh, guys, thank you a million times over. We'll for have you back on. Let's see. You. Yeah, we love it. We love the outlaw. Okay. Thank All right, Jimmy. You take a care. Times and thank let's you. Stay, let's stay in touch. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Colby, for holding the uh, the phone there Colby, for us. Thank you. Very He's got a steady right. hand too. Yeah. I have to. I have to tell him he did very well. Are you guys, thanks for believing in a little guy. I love you guys. I mean, All right. okay? appreciate thank you, Jimmy. All right, take care. Have Bye. a wonderful day. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, as a hell of an episode, had a lot of fun this week. With monster episode. A monster episode. Doing two episodes this week. Next week, guess what? Another two episodes. We're back. The week after that, five. <laughs> no, I don't know. But Let's my goal. Let's start with two. Yeah. My goal, I really do want to do five episodes a week, people. That's right. One every weekday. That's right. <laughs> well, we'll start with two for now. And we're really... Um, I guess I maybe don't want to give everything away, but we're we're building up towards some some real epic uh, upgrades to the H three podcast in the uh, medium term here. 
So I guess we can share that we are going to move to yeah, relocate. We're, yeah, we're relocating. Okay. Well, you know, with COVID, we're not even really capable of being in the office. So we're taking this time to find a new space and to build out like a that, more proper studio. Yeah, because that studio was getting, it was always kind of small. Mm -hmm. And um, especially now with the virus, it's like, doesn't really allow for much in there. No. Yeah. So I'm excited. I think, um, you know, the future is bright for the HD podcast. So even if, you know, everybody on the internet hates it, <laughs> I'm still in, baby. So those few of you who do like this show, fear not, because we're not going anywhere. <laughs> right, Ela? Right. We're in it till nobody's watching. <laughs> until the only people watching is Dan, because I'm paying him to. That's right. What and as long Ian as that and money and Ian and Zach, they've been fired already in. at that point. Oh. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, have a great weekend. We love you. We appreciate you. We'll see you next week with two juicy, fat whoppers of shits in the bed <laughs> episodes. <laughs> Amber turds. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.